Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, baby, hey. Baby, where are you rushing to? Home? No. We're not done. We're not? Not after that mind blowing, leg shaking <laughs> orgasm I just gave you. Yeah. Come on. Hey, David, it was, it was mind blowing. Yeah. And leg shaking, my leg just is shaking. I know. I know. But right now I have to go. As I have no choice, my cousin is waiting outside the door and she's somewhat stranded. If I don't get the house key, to baby, her, she, she baby, might sleep outside. Baby, baby, yeah. listen, I don't give a shit about your cousin. Well, 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 do you respect? But I feel like your cousin can come to the house. Come here and take the keys. Better still, I could ask my gatekeeper to take the keys to her. Oh. Yeah, because I haven't had enough of you yet. <laughs> you are so sweet. I know. But not to worry, you're gonna have me all to yourself by the weekend. I'll be here next weekend with you and then we can get it on. Really? Yeah. Cross your heart. Yeah. <laughs> okay then, I'll just take you. I, I'll drive, I, I'll get with my car. Oh, I'll just see you. No, 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 come here. I'll see you. Girl, are you home? Why? I thought you said you were spending the night. Mm, spending waiting. Please, oh, I changed my mind. I cannot come and go and die in the hands of one man that has a huge, huge weapon of mass destruction and does not know how to use it. Oh, no, your grief, But I advised you to speak with him. See, both of you can work things out together. Just. Talk to him about it. I know he can do something about it. The person in question will not hear of it because he believes he knows it all. He thinks he's the best in the game. You need to see him brag about these things, especially for, for, the, as, for the last couple of hours. You need to have seen him bragging and praising himself before and after the torture. I will die. I will die. I will carry it here my ass. Go that big, that big. I just, I didn't do anything, I just, I did nothing but just, I, I, I was just looking at him, observing him, while he bragged away. You have to speak with him. See babe, make this guy understand that. He injures you each time you people make out. Communicate with him. Uh -uh. Make him understand you don't mourn in excitement but in pains. Girl, wait until you hear him talk about how wonderful his manhood is. I mean, he talks like he's the best gift to happen to a woman's private part. I mean, he brags about how no man can satisfy me the way he does. No kidding. He should understand. See, I believe you people can work this out together. Of course, there must be a way because I don't like that this is happening and I really like this guy. I really love him. I love him and I hate to lose him because of this type of situation. Okay, come home. Let's discuss about it. We can sit, we can work this out together. Come home. No way, bro. Listen, no way. Choma is a lot better than Angel, sexually. Like her bedroom game is 100%. Baba, don't go there. She's very, very good. She tries to impress me every time. But listen, I have just one problem with her. She never gets wet. She is always dry. I have to use a loop. And you know me, I'm a tiger, bro. I give it to her back to back, and that's why she comes back for more. He said yeah. That, boy. Yeah. 
Mm. Just like the way I handled Tinello the last time she came. Oh, mm -hmm. you trust me now? Yeah. You know she was claiming a bad girl. But after I was done with her, she confessed never to be handled the way I did. Wait, wait, wait. wait. The lesbian? Exactly. The one you had sex with her friend? Exactly. Oh. I told you that girl was a prostitute. Yes. Bro, bro listen, listen. You, you don't openly call women prostitutes. That's a very wrong thing to say. You can say they are street girls. Mm. You can equally say they are escorts. Mm. But saying they are prostitutes is like you're making it too serious. Do you understand? Vincent, her BJ, when I mean her BJ, her blowjob is out of this world. She gives you a blowjob? Man, that girl is crazy. <gasps> <laughs> Woo! Really? What the heck? Really? I told you that girl is a harlot. Oh! Listen, listen, Vincent. Hmm? That girl has a damaged life, and I want to enjoy every bit of her damaged life. Oh, could you listen, I'm not a fan of calling women harlots. I am very certain you both are not discussing anything mm -hmm. reasonable. Alpha, other than women. Paul, and let me make this clear. If you both are expecting me to offer you a sumptuous meal from my kitchen, sorry to disappoint you both. There is no food in this house, so you're going to drink. Paul, you can as well order. At least in five minutes, I believe you know some eateries that will deliver in less than five minutes. On whose be, Paul? But I told you I was hungry now. Vincent, you're not even ashamed of yourselves. I mean, both of you. I just pity those unfortunate women who trust you with their private moments. Seriously. Paul, pour the drink. Just pour the drink. Beg. Pour oh. the drink now. It's my drink. Energy. Beg. I'm serious, Cassandra. I want to have you all to myself. Eh? I hate it when I see other men walking and out of this house. You are my property. Oh, Sita, I am nobody's property. Please. Ah, I have told you before that I can never be your woman. Eh? See, I need money to take good care of myself. I do not have that kind of money. After spending so many years in the city, I did not come to this village to settle here. Please. Cassandra, listen to me. Eh? I have told you that I can take very good care of you. Yes. Just stop allowing men to touch you. I love you and I don't want to share you with other men. Please. Usita, you are married with a child. And your wife is at home. Yet you want me to stay here with you. Please. I have better plans for myself and I do not want another man to ruin my plan. Please. I love you. Cassandra, I love you and that is what matters to me. I am still with my wife today. It's because of my child. Listen, do this for me and I promise to work out something for both of us. Okay, just wait. Just a little gift from me to you. I know you will like it. <laughs> Osita, yeah? you know what? Just leave. Please, go back to your wife. It is bad enough that I am still sleeping with you. Don't add more salt to the injury, please. Cassandra. Cassandra, I love you. Eh? I love you so much. I am ready to send my wife away. If only, if only you stop sleeping with other men. Yes. Osita, oh, it's it's okay. My friend is here now. Please, you have to start going. <laughs> what is it? Why are you staring at me like that? Like you're happy? Hmm? Are you happy with your life right now? Look, Idema. What matters to me right now 
is my plans and how I can actualize it. I do not care how I'm going to do that. Please. By sleeping with somebody's husband. Eh? By sleeping with somebody's husband. Is that why you're rubbing it on my face? I know what I am doing is wrong. But I do not care. He was the one that came after me and gave me money. I really needed it. So why are you ranting? Why are you talking like this? I'm now ranting at the expense of another woman's happiness. Cassandra. I am not dragging him with her. I am not going to marry him. Do you understand me? All I want is a share of his money. That's all. But you were hurt by another man does not give you the right to treat your fellow woman that way. I am never in support of this and I can never be. All right, no problem. You will soon get tired of talking too much. Yes. All I know is that I am going to answer like Guys, she spent the weekend at the house, but I had to leave her on Saturday to go see Cynthia. You know, that girl is just pretty, not more. That is just all about her. And when it comes to the best of, she is too lazy and lacks skills. Yes, she will just be lying on the bed like a log of wood. Yo, listen. The same reason I dumped Amaka. Yeah! The same reason I dumped her ass. Listen, she's just a pretty face. A pretty face with no sexual skills. Oh, man. I got tired of her. I stopped picking her calls. Listen, I'm a tiger, bro. I need some bad bitch. No, but seriously, it's not funny. I need a bad bitch and not some mama's girl, you know? That's boring. Uh, guys, do you know that Nigeria and most other African nations actually abstain from voting Russia out of the UNHRC? What? You're surprised, right? I mean, that was a bold move. Come on, at some point I was beginning to get scared that our dear nation was going to join other European allies, of course, to vote against Russia. But imagine my surprise when I realized that the reverse was the case. Paul. That was a bold move. Paul. Yes. Paul! Mm -hmm. How many times did I call you? Why the hell are you telling us boring stories about Russia that might be stupid when properly verified? You don't understand. Understand what? Understand the facts. What fact? Listen. This activity is going on now can only point to one fact. <sighs> what geopolitics, of course, will be in the nearest years to come. Come on, guys. We are gradually moving towards a bipolar world. Oh. Well, where the UK, the US, Australia, and of course, other European allies will be in one block. Then, Russia, Africa, China, India, and even some other Asian countries on the other block. Guys, I am anticipating interesting days ahead. <laughs> I am just trying to sort out. I don't know why my BBC app is coming up. Vincent. Vincent? A pretty girl without their skills is just for sure. Right. That's why I like you. Yeah. You know, people will be envious of you for having such a hot girl as a girlfriend. Right. Not knowing she's just a dumbass account. The worst of it all is that she cannot yeah. even move her waist in bed. Yeah. Just laying there like a log of wood. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know I don't like that. Nah. Uh, no. no. Guys, please. Can't we just have a reasonable conversation for what? Paul, 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 listen. What other reasonable conversation do you want to have? And it's something productive. What other productive conversation do you want to hear? Why do you keep talking about Russia? Is this Ukraine? Do I look like Putin? Huh? At least so productive to the extent of producing. 
Wait, wait, wait. Let me even ask you a question. Have you ever been to Russia before? No! Okay, it's obvious. It's just obvious that all my efforts to make sure that we have something serious to talk about is already null and void. So at this point, I think I will just allow you both to keep fooling yourself along with the discussions about bitches since you've decided not to be sensible. Well, before you go anywhere, I'll quickly go into the kitchen and grab myself a plate of rice. No, no, Vincent. Don't! No, not my kitchen! Paul? I have those four cups of rice left in that kitchen. Paul, okay. I'll join you later. Vincent! In whose kitchen? Vincent, don't go to that one. No, 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 no. You have to go to your bitch's house and get food to eat. Tell me he hasn't picked your call since then. No. No, he hasn't then. Makes me so worried because we were supposed to see this weekend. You should be happy he's not picking your call. <sighs> what should you be doing with a man who can't satisfy you in bed? And you are not even ready to discuss that with him. Uh, listen. You are not going to make fun of my man's weakness because I told you about it. Don't do that. Never do that. I told you what I told you in confidence because I thought that you have had a similar experience or known someone who has experienced such. I didn't tell it to you so you can make fun of it. If you have no solution to proffer, can you quit talking about it? Can you pretend I didn't tell you about it? Why are you thinking I'm not helping? Are you helping? I am. What happened to all the advices I gave you? Have you put single into practice? You have not taken any of them, so why are you expecting results? You know what? Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your help and many advice. But I want you to start talking about my man in that light. Do you, you think that's something you can do? Uh, well... I felt I, I could help, but I, I guess I'm overstepping my bounds. Just stop talking about it. It's starting to piss me off. Cross my heart, I won't do that again. I'm going to have to go to his house and find out what's up because this is unusual. I mean, we have plans for the weekend. I'm going to go dress up and go. Chama, what? I think that's not a good idea. Yeah, what do you know? You're not in love. You've never been in love. Five plots of land. Paul, I hope the guy has money. If I wasn't certain of the money, I won't be here. You're sure? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right. Who is that? Come on, who is that? Other sure. than pick up. No. Why? I'm tired, man. I'm tired of using lubricants. Bro, I am a P-I-M-P. I am a pimp. I need a real woman who can wet my bed. Huh? This is not Hamatan. This is not Hamatan season. She's too dry. Vincent. Hmm? Can you just 
pause and listen to yourself. Loud and clear. God. What? Listen, listen. She enjoys sex. Because I am good. I'm a tiger, bro. I give it to her back to back. And that's why she keeps coming back for more. But she's freaking selfish. It should be give and take. You enjoy, I enjoy. But guess what? She's too dry. She is too dry down there. And I only enjoy sex with her because I use lubricants. But mine is finished. So I need a real woman who can satisfy me sexually. Have you ever stopped to think about this thing? That most women can't just be as wet as you expect them to be? Well, she needs to allow me hang out with those women who can get wet this weekend. Because I'm tired of her. Oh, I remember she once told me she was... I think she said she was abused sexually and she's still very, very much traumatized. But listen, I don't give a shit. I don't care. She needs to leave me alone. I need to roll with women who can satisfy me sexually, bro. Do you understand? You are just an impossible person. You know, hearing you talk now, I've been just imagining. Why was the universe even fashioned in this manner? How do jets like you end up with the best of women? I don't understand. Paul, God created us in his image. So you think God created you and gave you a dick to play with it? So no! You're trying to justify your negative actions now with the creation story. Please leave me alone. You're not a Bible student. You know what? You can stay here and keep pondering about who came and who did not come. I have a business deal to seal. I'll go wait. Do not give these documents to that guy if he doesn't have money. He needs to show you money first. Sandy baby. Sandy baby. Yes, my God. See, I must confess, eh? I'm not disappointed at all. Really? Ha! Ah! So this is what I've been missing in this town all this while. Hey, Sandy baby. Mm -hmm. Where the hot? Mm -hmm. No problem. Eh? Mm -hmm. Today is your day. But I must confess that I will definitely come back. Really? And when I come back, trust me. to know Osita. Please, what are you even doing here? Why is it that you are always spoiling my day? Osita, what is your problem? Eh? Yeah, Cassandra, you know I love you so much. Eh? I love you. Does that not matter to you? I am ready to give up everything, everything because of you. Why don't you want to give me a chance? Osita, I never give you a chance. I will never give you a chance, not even in the future. I have told you what I can afford. I am here for business and not to love. Do you understand me? Business, Osita. Can you at least think about this? Think about this, Cassandra. Please, you have to leave right now. Yes. Go to your wife and your kid. Leave now, Osita.
Girl, from the look on your face, it's easy to see that there's something you want to let off your chest. Out with it. What troubles you, girl? I mean, we live in the same house. We could use each other's advice from time to time. No, I'm saying. Well, well. Seriously, Chuma, I'm, I'm tired of this job. Honestly, I feel like quitting and establishing myself. This job is taking a turn on my flesh. Girl, welcome to my world. I mean, you are not alone. Feelings like this is the reason I am more than ever pumped up in my spirit to establish my own company. But until then, girl, I ain't quitting. No, no. So don't you quit. Hanging there. Well, Chuma, yours is different. See, Chuma, if I have the kind of things you have going on for you, why should I work for someone else? Trust me, girl. I know what I'm doing. Well, uh -huh. have you heard from my boyfriend? Oh, yeah, I have. Ah, <sighs> I'm... Um... He had a perfectly good explanation for the disconnect. According to him, he had this late minute presentation to do at his workplace. And in order to concentrate, he had to cut off from whatever it is that would prospectively distract him. And that included me. But then he promised to make it up to me. And I'm looking forward to it. You know what I'm saying? And you believed him? What do you mean, and you believed him? Of course I believed him. What the hell? <laughs> Choma, I saw our boyfriend on my way to work early this morning with a lady at the front of his car. And he wasn't anywhere around his office. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, what are you trying to insinuate? Because the lady in question could be anybody. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Sorry for mentioning that. Girl, you need to quit this nonsense. Quit it. Stop trying to destroy my relationship. It will not pay you. Instead, it will cause problems between you and I. Stop it. Seriously. Okay. <clears throat> Where is Vincent? Go ahead, what's up? What are you doing here? I mean, what sort of question is that? Where is Vincent? Guy, calm down. Hmm? I, I was surprised to see you here. I never knew if you were coming here. Vincent never told me he called you to come here. I don't, what are you talking about? Listen, Vincent sounded very urgent on the phone. Where is he? Wait. You mean Vincent called you to come here? That guy is really mad. Vincent is really acting like Annabelle is a trophy. And what is the meaning of that? Okay. Listen, I was actually very busy somewhere else. And he called me and told me to hurry up to his house. So I don't understand what you're talking about. Where is Vincent and what is happening here? Paul, oh, just calm down and sit down. You know that Vincent has finally eaten the food from his boss's kitchen. Um, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? You know that beautiful, that beautiful girl, the daughter of his boss, the one that has been forming boss for Vincent for a very long time now. Yes. 
Vincent is about to find out if she's juicy like the way she looks. As I speak to you right now, uh, Vincent is on top of her in his bed. <laughs> they are catching forward. Wait, I... What is all this? You mean Vincent called me here for this rubbish? That I left all the important things I was doing just for this nonsense? Guys, oh, I really don't get it. Why are you acting like you're not enjoying this? Listen, we know you. You're, you and I know you're only pretending. So why, why all this attitude? Why? Do you know that you are just wasting your life? You and Vincent, of course. You both are just wasting your lives. And you should be ashamed of yourselves. Paul, don't insult me. Because I'm not ready to take any insult from you. Very well then. Just one advice. From a friend. Like I said, you both are wasting your lives. And if you don't fix your life now, few years to come, there will be nothing of worth about you to be remembered of. Paul. Paul. Get out. I was actually wasting my time here. The thing I want to discuss with you and it's very important. Baby! What? Sit down. What? What I have to discuss with you is super important and I want for you to give me the attention that the topic requires. Babe, calm that way. Calm that way because you look ravishingly beautiful. Thank you. And I can't wait to... Um! What? It's you. Because I'm a tiger baby. Uh, well, not now. Because this is important, all right? We can do whatever after. But let's talk. Okay, what is it? Baby, what I have to talk about is very important. And every other thing can wait until I'm done talking. All right. What is it? This is so important, and I want you to give it all the seriousness in the world. Can you do that, please? Okay. Promise to be honest with me 100%. Have I ever lied to you? No. Okay. Now, this discussion is about our sex life. <gasps> what is it? Really? Yes. Okay. I wanted to know if... If you think there are areas that we need to make changes, you know, like if there's any aspect that you need me to improve on, then go ahead and tell me and, and I'll tell you yours if, if I have any to. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me think. Okay. I think we're perfectly fine. We're doing just good. We are? Yeah. I'm very sure. Because I... I know, I know, I know. You do? I know what you have in mind. But it's okay. Listen. You don't have to ask about mine. Because I know... I know you like it how I give it to you. Back to back! Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and trust me. Have you ever dated a guy? A guy as sweet as me? Huh? No. Have you ever dated a guy with a big, big machine gun like mine? No, I haven't. I know. It's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. I need to drink water. What? I'm thirsty. 
Excuse me. Are you running away? Yeah. <laughs> Dehydrated. I'll be back. You were not alone. <laughs> I want to be alone. I am here with you. Though you're far away, I am here. Stop it. Oh, who the hell is that? You're expecting a visitor? Not exactly, but uh, Paul is supposed to visit with his girlfriend. But it's not time yet. Or maybe he changed his mind. You want me to get the door? No, 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 no. it's okay. I'll get the door. Okay. Just chill for me. Okay. Hi, what's up? Hi, how you doing? I'm fine. Hey. Hey, how are you? What's I'm fine. Hey, what's up? Well, I'm okay. I... You know, we were actually somewhere else. But the place not to make sense like that. So, we decided to come now. Instead of our initial agreements in the evening. Well, uh, you came at the wrong time because we were talking politics. But it's okay. Nate, how are you? How are you doing? You're just shining, shining, ah. shining, shining. Like this? Yeah. I think you should talk to your friend to up his game in taking care of me. Uh, not this. Uh, wait, wait. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I beg your pardon. Did you mean up his game sexually or financially? Huh? Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> I, I'm sure my friend is trying his best. You know, it's not easy to find a guy who can take care of his woman just like me. Yeah. Huh. Mm. Well, um, Vincent, I would like to have a word with you outside. Ah? Uh, at least let me entertain my guests. Nay, what do you want to drink? I have everything. Dad yes. can wait. Just one minute. No, I actually want something. I want to drink something. Whiskey is fine. Whiskey it is, baby. Uh, I'll, I'll get it for her. Listen. Fine. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. I got this. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Outside. Please. Don't stop putting me. Baby, I'll be right back. It's okay. Make yourself comfortable. Of course, I'm comfortable. It's our house. <laughs> Hi. Um, you know, uh, we could actually be friends. I really like you. I mean, there's a lot we can do together. Mm -hmm. Paul, what is it now? What is it? What is she doing? What? Paul, when, when did you become my father? And what type of question is that? I thought you said you were done with her. That you don't need her anymore. How? Paul! Is this why you dragged me out? Listen, Vincent, I don't understand the game you're playing here now. But what you're doing to her is not nice. Paul, listen, I never said anything about that girl to you. Okay? Listen, she... She's like a backup plan. She, she is like a substitute in case others don't show up. Don't you understand? Vincent, that girl deserves better. Oh. Come on, she loves you more than any other woman has ever loved you. Mm -mm. Paul, you don't understand. Paul, I need to paint it to you white and black. She loves how I give it to her. Yeah, she loves my machine girl. I'm telling you, and that's why she keeps coming back for more. Don't you understand? Yeah. You know what? I just pray you don't end up regretting this in the nearest future. Huh? Yes. Ta! She deserves better. No matter how you want to paint it, come on. This guy is just so difficult. My love. Mm. Mm. Mommy. <laughs> mm. Oh, come let me kiss you. I need this thing now. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. There's something I'll give to you. They call it BG. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 
Mmm. 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 Hey, Mim. Oh, I wish you would stop allowing those stupid men into this house. Hmm? Can't you see we are meant for each other? You are my life, my everything. Hmm? What is this? No, what is this? Why do you like spoiling this moment? Eh? Why do you like to ruin our moment? Now that I am in the mood to do something, see what you are saying. Yeah, it's okay now. Every time you're always saying this thing, I don't like it's it. It's okay, sorry. Eh? It's okay. You know, it, it hurts me whenever I see those men around you. Eh? Yes. To think that they're always using what is supposed to be mine. It, it, it breaks my heart. Eh? It breaks my heart. Uh, listen to me, Osita. When I was in the city, I believed in love. I had this belief that love matters more to me than any other material thing. Not until your gender taught me the biggest lesson of my life. You better take your mind off me. It can never work out the way you want it to work out. Cassandra, tell me, what was that that was done to you that made you change like this? Eh? Who is that animal that ought an angel like you? Tell me. <laughs> Please, stop sounding so pathetic. Now you are sounding like my ex, and I do not like this. I don't like it at all. Where is that shameless man? Osita! Osita, come out and face me! Oh, shameless he go tell her you come out with your hand. Osita! Osita, I know you are jail. Osita, come out with that shower that you've been spending my money on. See, she has vowed to destroy my home. She should come out and face me, woman to woman. Oh, Sita, oh, I know you are there. Come out, oh. Your wife? Don't, don't worry, I will take your office. I will take your office. Don't let this one go. Please, go and sort out your I will take care of this. I don't like the way your wife is just shouting. Sita! Doesn't she know you are jail? Oh, that you be spending my money on. She has vowed to destroy my home. She should come out and face. Oh, Sita, come out in that house to be spending my money on. Come out, oh, Sita. Come out. Come out and face me. Oh, Sita, come out and face me. Lady. What is your problem? And lady, leave this place before I teach you a lesson. Osita, kill me if you want. I don't care. But tell that you're a shower that you've been spending my money on to come out here and face me. Since she has decided to be shameless, we have to be shameless together. I'm not going anywhere. Nady, why can't you listen to me? Listen to me and go home. We will talk about this when I get home. Mbagaba, go! Osita, I'm not going anywhere. Tell her to come and face me. Don't you know that all the money you've been spending on her is my money? My head on money, my business money, don't she know? They had to come and face me. What is she doing? Is that... Jesus! Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up your mouth and stop disgracing yourself! Are you mad? You must give me to them. Are you mad? Yeah. Una. Let's go! I'll see you today. Die, don't tell me that. We talked about this last week and you insisted that we meet in Paul's house. I am here now. Where are you, Vicent? Vicent, where are you? Vicent, you know what? Just get out of my phone! Just get out! Can you imagine? What do you say? Is he coming or not? Can you imagine? Just, can you imagine Vicent? Just because of a woman, Vicent abandoned one of the most important meetings that will determine if we are going to win this contract or not. When he knows how long we have been working for this contract. 
Now, 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 Vincent, Vincent knows without his presence that they, they, they cannot even listen to you and I. Wait. What does Vincent actually say? I mean, where is he? Is it not that Annabelle of a girl? Now, listen. Eh? That girl is a wind that has come to destroy the life of Vincent. But he doesn't know it. Oh, yes, he doesn't know it. Now, this girl, Annabelle, asked Vincent to choose between her and the mating. Do you know what? Now, Vincent told me that he's going to call the man and cancel later. You're not serious. I'm just confused. Wait, wait. Vincent is actually going to cancel this meeting that will help us get this contract because of a woman? Is that what Vincent intends to do? Do, do, do you know what baffles me most? Do you know what? Now, when you have pretty women all over, everywhere, I, I, I wonder what's so special about this Annabelle girl that is keeping Vincent out from this meeting. Do you know how important this meeting is to you, me, and Vincent? Do you know? He's just toiling with this contract, this meeting. Which new girl? <laughs> you are calling that one a new girl. She was here the other day. The police. I was even thinking it's all this uh, one night stand. But the one I'm seeing things, this one have come to stay. This one will last at least. She will not will last. Mm. She will not last. Madame Choma is the only madame of this house, the main madame of this house. Any other person who is trying to replace her, <laughs> we will frustrate that person out of this house. And who is going to frustrate her out of the house? You and I now. What, who does it look like? Mm -mm. Let me tell you, I'm here for the moving train. I'm not here to frustrate anybody. If the new madam gives me what I want, I'll follow her. Mm. <laughs> then get ready to starve in this house. Yes. You know why? Because if you don't join me to fight this fight, you, you, you cannot do that. Yeah. Yes. We'll Let me tell you, if you try any nonsense, I will tell you that I am the second in command in this house. You will know Why are you threatening with you food? You will know with General Robert. My friend, get out from here. I will starve you, I will starve you. What do you cook? What do you cook is potting? This is what I want to me. Stab me, stab me, stab me. Go to my bread, I'll rose. Calm down. This is not the right time for this. Please calm down. Okay? Calm down. Now, Paul, let me ask you. Do you know that Vincent is taking us for granted? Do you know that? God. Now, let me ask you. Do you know how much we invested in this business? Do you know how much? No, he messed it up all because of a woman. Why? Why? Listen, I don't think the deal is off yet. As, at least that was not what he told me. So let's calm down and hear from the horse's mouth. Stop shouting. Calm down. Let him come and tell us himself. Okay? Listen, I told him to give me the man's contact so that I can talk to the man since the deal is on. Oh no, he said no. He refused giving me the man's contact. Now, let me ask you, how long will Vincent keep lying to us? How long? Paul, I am sure that that contract has been given to somebody else. Yes. You cannot just conclude, okay? You can't conclude. Let the young man come out here face to face and tell us that yes, the contract has been given to someone else or the deal is up, then we can believe it. So calm down. You know, at some point, I think I'm fed up. I'm tired of doing business with you both. Because time and time again, you have proven to me that you prefer to reason with your balls and not your brain. So from henceforth, hmm, tell Vincent, and yourself not to come close to me. Anytime he decides to come out, tell him that I'm off. 
I don't want to see him near me. Not come anywhere close to me. Okay. I don't get it. Bo! Deliver my message to Bo! Can you come back and yell? Let, let, let's finish this business once and for all. Bo! What, 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 what's all this nonsense? You're working out on me, right? Freeze it! You better come out here if you know what is good for you. Sorry, um, I have a friend that lived next to the next street, but she wasn't around. And I remember that you told me you stay here. And I decided to, you know, hop in and say hi. I hi. Did. I told you I stay here. Yes, you did. I don't quite recall. Come on, you told me. You're welcome, Lisa. Thank you. This is a beautiful place. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Colors. I love colors. Welcome, man. They left my, my flatmate. Nancy. Hi, um, Amara. Nice to meet you. Uh, you just heard her. Nancy, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> what do I offer you? I'm good, Maokai. So tell me, how's your boyfriend? <laughs> He's fine. He's good. We're good. Ah, man. To think they have a beautiful, hard-working woman and they still cheat. It's crazy. Excuse me? Yeah, I mean, they want us to be faithful, you know, believe in them, trust them, and yet they shatter our hearts and give us heartbreak. Your boyfriend, Vincent. Are you talking to me? Oh, God, you yes. have me lost for a minute. What are you talking about? Are you, well, are you, come on, are you trying to deny what I'm saying or you want me to believe you don't? What are no you one? saying? Vincent. Ah, he's a chronic womanizer. Trust me, he sleeps with anything in skirt. Okay. You need to back up. I agree that men do cheat, but not my Vincent. I mean, Vincent will never hurt me. He'll never cheat on me. Okay. Period. Hey. God, you're lucky that you are my friend. I swear you for Colette. Huh? You messed up big time. You think avoiding us it, it, it will solve everything, right? I'm sorry. I have apologized a million times. Forgive me, please. Sorry, man. Listen, the girl was so sweet. I couldn't stop. I kept going. Besides, I didn't know the man would give out the, 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 the contract just because we couldn't meet up with the appointment. It's all right. You're lucky I'm coming back from a place of happiness. You know that lady banker that stays in my street? That sweet lady banker. What lady banker? I can't remember. How do you mean you can't remember? That beautiful, sexy, hot, Sweet system banker that stays on my street. Oh, you mean the old woman that has refused to accept that she is old? What happened? That woman is not old. What happened? If you see what she did to me today, my dear. What she did? Wait. What that woman did to me, though she was trying to impress me, but she was good, perfect, excellent. Is it? What I am thinking. Wait, wait. Did you get down with that woman? <laughs> oh, trust your guy. You did? This is so good. You are the baddest. <laughs> you can say that again. Wait, 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 wait. How did you do it? That woman doesn't look cheap. Trust me. I just played some little tricks and I found myself right in her bed. How? Wait, wait. Her bed. Yes, her bed. 
And she's even inviting me for more. Uh, you, you're going for another... Oh, God. Oh, are, you, are, you, are you going to go? He like... said, I am telling you that this woman is perfect. She is good. She's something else. And you're here asking me if I'm going. Man, I'm there already. You know what? That woman is free to use me as much as she wants to. Okay? My dear, let me tell you something. Vicent, you see that woman? She is perfect. You know, she, 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 she knows this game more than those single girls. More than those young girls. Even with a flat breast, she's perfect. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'm just wondering how you were able to, you know, get an erection when... Come on, you know? Get out! Get out! Oh, don't you show your face here next time, because I don't know what it is you're trying to gain, but ah, this malicious rumors that you're carrying about the place. Can you believe that girl? Can you imagine the, the fucking gods? What does she tend to gain? coming down here to lie to you. Do I know? Mm. Well, this is more reason you should look into this instead of just waving it off. There is nothing to look into. I trust Vincent. He loves me and he will never cheat on me or hurt me. How many times do I have to say that to you people? What harm will it do to you, Choma? To just check, take out time to, you know, to check this. Just in case, so in case. Girl, looking into this would mean I don't trust Vincent. Meanwhile, I do trust him. Why do you trust? You see, this nonsense you just came to say, I want to remember it by tomorrow. Not to talk of giving energy into it by investigating or getting all sneaky and bullshit. Ain't nobody got time. Dear God, I regret having run out to open the door. I thought it was a human being. Welcome back. Maria, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I didn't see you over the weekend as you promised. Ah, uh, Maria, you know why, don't you? I don't know why. I was hoping to see you. Instead, I saw another one. Another what? It's nothing. It's nothing actually. So that I missed you this weekend. And you give me less trouble than others. Others? Who are the others that trouble you? Hey, I kept something on the fire. I'm sure it's burning. I'm sure you're perceiving it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Maria. Others. Why is this gate man? Why is this gate man? Why is this kid, man? And why is this maid looking for me? Who are you calling a maid? Are you not an ordinary maid? Are you not an ordinary maid? A house servant. Nonsense maid. That is what you are. Don't you know my name again? You are calling me a gate man. Are you not a gate man? Or are you ashamed of your work? See, let me tell you, Maria, don't provoke me. Don't provoke me! Ordinary maid with no pedigree. I don't blame you. I'm a camera on the phone. Rubbish. Listen to me. I am not a maid. Neither am I a servant in this house. I would not waste my time trying to explain my position to you in this house. In fact, I would never just with you again. I'm out of here. Come, come, Maria, come now. Nah, you pay. Someone cannot play with you. Okay, come and just me. I was only joking. Now I'm fine. I would never just with you again until you properly apologize to me for calling me a common maid without pedigree. Okay, fine. I'm sorry for calling you an ordinary maid with no pedigree. In fact, you are a fantastic maid. I am not a maid. I am a professional house attendant. Ah! 
Who dash you that one? Carry your gist, come off for here. I need Tyson again. What? You are ordinary maid. I came to tell you that me and Madame was here and what I got to her. And my plans to help her, but in fact, I don't think I'm ready to help Come now, come and gist me. Come now. There's no gist. Maria, why are you like this? Come now. Why? Oh yeah, come inside, let's gist. I have this for you. Look, I don't want any issue, I don't want any problem. If you have issues with your husband, you should go to your house and settle it. Not to come and meet me and start harassing me. What's the meaning of this? So you acknowledge Osita as my husband. <laughs> Do you also know that all the money he has been spending on you belongs to me? And do you, do you realize that since you came back to this village, Osita has been useless? <laughs> so why are you telling me? No, tell me, why are you telling me? Is it my fault? Have you ever seen me come to your house to look for Osita? Eh? Look, here is a business center and every customer is allowed to come here and enjoy as long as he can pay. Do you understand? Cassandra, I don't want you to welcome my husband in your home again. Cassandra, I'm begging you. I'm begging you not because I don't know what to do to you. But I'm begging you because I want peace first. Oh, please. Shut up your mouth. In fact, your husband should never come here again. You damn mad? What do you mean of this one now? Eh? Which kind of nonsense talk you they talk? See, don't try me. Oh. I could just give you what you are your, your stupid husband. You don't know say I be a shower. I be better on law show. International on law show will not get shame. See, take your time, oh. I don't want to see any of you that fight. If I come up for you, I'll do for you. You damn mad? You don't get fear? You want me to naked follow you? I go naked follow you? Idiot! You want to call the wreck from my area? You don't know say this one my company, my establishment, my business, a big company. Idiot, go punish you. Nonsense. Go punish your mama and your papa, idiot. Rubbish. I see your leg for you, I'm going to play you. So far, oh. Just imagine. Because of a lot of work, this woman can't talk to me anyhow. Ah! Hey! Me, Cassandra! Cassa Wodo Wodo! Cassa Woman! Where is she? Cassa Wodo! Hey! Stop it! Uh -uh. One thing I will not take is to allow an angry wife to come and insult me because of her stupid husband. See, let me tell you something. You better go to your, your, your house and come take care of your family. Go and sort out your family. What's the meaning of this now? Uh -huh. He didn't Wait for us. Eh? Cool down. Did my wife come here to attack you? What's the meaning of that question? What if your wife came to attack me, Osita, leave here and go to your house. Go and search your family. I don't need your money. I don't want your money. I don't want your money, Osita.
Nelly, come here. Nelly, come here before I kill you. Beba. Ha! Nelly. Hey. Jesus. Bia, 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 bia. Oh, sit down. Mind how you talk to me. I know that that halos have already told you what happened. And that is why you're behaving like a madman. But let me tell you something. Respect yourself a little. Okay, now listen. Listen, let me tell you. The next time you as much as look at Cassandra, not to talk of to go and attack her, that day would be your end in this house. You can kill me if you want, Osita. But I will never allow you to keep disgracing me in this village. Never. It will not happen. Okay. Let me tell you, if you don't stop seeing that Ashawo, hey, if you don't stop seeing that Ashawo, Osita, I will burn down her house with you, the both of you inside it. I, I said it. I see. Yes. Okay. Mama. Now let me warn you. Hmm? Let me warn you. Stay away from her. If you want us to live in peace in this house, stay away from Cassandra. Peace, you said, Osita. Osita, peace. Have you ever for once lived in peace in this house, Osita? Have we? Listen. I'm no longer afraid of you. No, 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 not anymore, Osita. So, whatever you feel you can do to me, do it. Do your worst. I'm waiting for you, Osita. I should do my worst, okay? Mwano, get ready to meet your ancestors. Inonia, get ready to meet your ancestors. Wait for me. Hey, who? Odumula, a shower man. You cannot do me anything. You are a weakling, coward. That's what you are. You cannot go out there and fight your fellow man. It's your wife. You, you, you always get powerful. See, Osita, I'm ready for you. Anything you want, I will give it to you. Shower. See, I want you to understand that I'm not one of those ladies who believe there must be a man in their lives. I'm walking, I'm not handicapped, and I know I can take care of myself. Okay, look at Choma, my friend. Who is a man in her life? One womanizer who cannot sleep without a woman. Why on earth would I have anything to do with such a man? <laughs> I am not trying to mock my friend. I'm trying to make a point here. Instead of me to settle with a man like Vincent, <laughs> I'd rather remain single and stay without one. I'm talking. <laughs> Cassandra, I'm talking, right? You are talking too much. Come and sit down, Jari, and come and gist me. What happened? Who's gisting you? Who is gisting you? What, what, what am I going to gist with you? Eh? You're so shameless and useless. You don't have conscience. You're very wicked. Hey. Well, I accept everything. I am an Ashawo. I am shameless. I am wicked. It's none of my business. I accept it. Stop killing yourself over my matter. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Look, I will kill myself until you realize that you're doing a bad thing and then you change from it. Stop what you're doing. It's not nice. Unfortunately, I know what I am doing. I do not need to blame the devil. See, I will not stop until I get what I want. Yes. Why are you just ranting, shouting? You should calm down now. Eh? Don't wait till Cassandra leaves. How do you intend to to ruin your fellow woman's house because of money. This is not nice. Ah, well, 
I did not intend to do that. If you have the money, give it to me now so I can go to the city and stop all this type of life. Ah. Cassandra, do you know that Osita beat his wife blue black today because she confronted you? What? He beat his wife. Ah. I don't even know why that woman is still in that house if she cannot defend herself. What is it? Why, why are men do this? Cassandra, please. I need you to stop seeing Osita for his wife's sake, please. Please. Well, I cannot stop seeing Osita. Because the moment I leave Osita, Osita will go for another woman. And the woman will take over. So there's no way I can leave Osita. No, Osita is not a child. Osita can decide on whatever he wants to do with his life. Please. Cassandra, how can you do all of this and still sleep soundly at night? Does it really matter? Please, I prepared rice. Let's go and eat. Did you use chicken? <laughs> of course I used chicken. And I used Osita's money to prepare the food. Anything you want to say, say I'm making yourself go. I'm sorry about what happened last time. Come on, we're girls. I just got your back, honestly. I hold you as my friend. I got you, 100, like 100. Come on, don't do your face like that. Okay, I was bored at home and then I decided to come check you up. <sighs> I wanted to call, but I, I knew you wouldn't pick the call, so what's up? You know, I'm so famished. What do you have? Jollof rice. Oh, jollof rice. Just what I wanted to eat. But uh, before the jollof rice, just get me cold juice. And then I'll eat later. Hmm? Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. You're beautiful. <laughs> you are too. Thank you. Hello, sugar daddy. Sugar banana. Oh, baby, I'll miss you too. I do. So let me ask a question, huh? Take away sex from the relationship. Will you still love me? Yes, because people mistake sex for love. Come on, come on, daddy, come on. <laughs> I'll come see you later. I'm at a friend's place. Okay, later, baby. Bye, sugar banana. My baby. <laughs> All right, darling. Okay, cool. Cool stuff. What? You're staring at me. What? That was not Paul. I can guarantee you that. Uh-huh. And so? You cheat on him. You cheat on him and you're not even afraid to admit it. Who knows what Paul is doing right now? Probably he's banging one girl right now. Uh-huh. What? Wait, how do you know that? How do you know these things? Sweetie, I don't have to know these things. Did Paul cheat on you and then you decided to go on a cheating spree? No, I don't have to know. I know he's cheating because they say, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. Girl, your mindset is fucked up. And you need to fix it. <laughs> I mean, just because your man cheats does not give you room to generalize that all men are cheats. It does not work that way. And if you have a cheat man, the dignifying thing that you would do for yourself is walk away from the relationship. You don't have to become a slut or begin to slip around to prove a point or two. Hey girl, come on, chill. Listen, okay. Uh, Point of correction, I am not a slut. You know, I'm just uh, catching my groove on. And you need to know what this men do. do. Let me tell you, let me break it down for you. I know girls that they have slept with. The ones they picked from church, streets, clubs, by the corner. Girl, they're on the cheat and spray. And for me, I just want to get my groove on, girl. I just want to have a backup plan, you know. Gotta service the engine. It needs to work well. Mm -hmm. 
What's up? What's up? <laughs> Girl, you need to meet this man. Ah! Dege! Ka, 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 ka! Ah. Jello fries. Yes, the jello fries. Exactly. They all cheat. I know. They all cheat. <laughs> Come join me. This food is delicious. In fact, Chioma is a good cook. I know she cooked this food. Huh? Thank you. You know, I've been meaning to ask. Are you Chioma's roommate or just friend? Where is Chioma? Oh. She's inside. I'm wondering why she's not out. So please, can you answer the question? There's a reason I asked. And what's your reason? You know, I'm, I'm wondering, why haven't you won him against her cheating boyfriend, Vincent? That guy is a chronic cheat. And you're so relaxed without fighting for your friend. Huh? Why don't you mind your business and stop fixing opinion where it's not needed? If I may ask, what's your game? And why exactly are you bent on destroying her relationship? When last did you have sex? Because looking at you right now, you are sex starved. What nonsense is that? No, don't worry. I got a medicine. I will call a good mechanic that will service your engine. They were dig deep, you know, deep deep. You know what? I don't know why Chama keeps allowing you into this house, knowing that you're not normal. Let me hook you up with someone right now, ASAP. Okay? Chama, hold on, let me hook you up with someone. Chama. <laughs> you if you love me, love me, love me for me. Get it. Don't blow my heart. <laughs> I'm gonna do you something strong, so strong, so strong. I, I, I. Please don't take me for a fool, for a fool. Cause if I got you, if I got you, cause life is one so. I still stand on my words. Women are inferior. They cannot survive without the help of a man. Both financially and otherwise. Prove me wrong and stop depending on your boyfriends. For everything. Well, not necessarily inferior. You know, I think we should paint the picture in white and black. I feel if a woman wants to become a feminist, she should go ahead and do that to the end. But do not ask for equal rights because you can't do what men do. Oh, no, what, what exactly do these men do for this women? If you talk about taking care of a woman, she does that perfectly by herself. See, that we only insist on collecting money or putting our responsibilities on the men doesn't mean that they are higher or superior. It's because men are scum. I mean, we can survive. We can live without you men. Please, uh -huh. please, please. Can we just change this topic? Because the way it is headed, I don't think it will land in the right direction. Can we just stop it? Well, respectfully, respectfully, women can't compare themselves to men. You know, I'd like to tell you guys a story. You see, a woman wasn't God's original plan. I'm sorry to say this, but yeah. You see, when God created Adam with something huge, dangling in between his legs oh my God. yeah so my point exactly is god saw that adam was was lonely so he he made eve out of his rib so you guys need to understand that understand what? that you're talking bullshit women are not god's original plan and and that's why 
you guys think from the left side of your brain. That's the lie. <laughs> so that's the lie. Oh my God. Men are the inferior ones and that's on period. Vincent, yeah. when did you become a Bible school student? Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is so disrespectful. Like so? Oh. Sorry guys, don't kill me already. <laughs> Me. No, but, but, no, no, but guys, but, but I'm serious. You're unbelievable. Oh shit, sorry. I'll be right back. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? Guys, guys. Do you know who just called me? Who? Annabelle. Yeah, she said she is on her way here. Listen, I had to tell her that I'm not home. I'm out with my guys drinking. Yeah, the same Annabelle. The same Annabelle you were with and made us lose the contract. Is this the same Annabelle we are talking about? Bro, haven't we gotten enough of our troubles already? Listen, hmm? simply tell her you're busy. That's it! No, let me ask you. What is it about this girl that's making you act like a fool? Like, I don't get it. Okudili, you just called me a fool. Listen, you need to watch your mouth. Mind your business. Okudili, you have done worse than this because of women. Do you understand? So okay. don't judge me. Okay, fine. Why are you now telling us this? What do you want? Oh, listen, I have a strategy, okay? Listen, I, I, I want us to all go out and have a drink. Oh. So she can meet us up. Yeah. Vincent, this is your problem. So solve it. You don't expect me to leave my girl in there and join you on this unnecessary charade. What is this? The, okay. What exactly are you talking about? I really don't get this. That's, that's, let me okay. explain, all right? What I am oh. categorically saying is that mm. I want us to go out and have a drink mm. so that Annabelle can meet up with us. I mean, the girls in there will be fine. You can talk to your girl to tell her that I... Listen, we want to pick something up. And she's going to believe you. She, 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 I mean, she's your girlfriend. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Just like that. Yeah. I just tell her we're going to pick something up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you think she'll be happy with that. Like I said, this is your problem. So fix it. I'm not leaving my girl here alone because she will not be happy with me. No, no listen, I, I feel like... I, I feel like they will be fine. Like I said before. Oh. They... Are you in charge of your girl? What sort of stupid question is that? Listen, just calm down. Hmm? We have no option than to fix this and help our guy. I have Okay? Options. Get it? Because uh, if this Annabelle of a girl comes here, this place... This whole table won't be falling. One more time. You just proved to me, you just proved to me that you have sense. <laughs> Bro, listen, listen to me. Please. Listen, D -d those girls will be fine. Okay, guess what? I have been entertaining them. I've been making them laugh. I was saying all sorts of things. I was even lying to them about Adam and Eve to get them entertained. Bro, I, I didn't even mean all I said, but I was just trying to, you know, entertain your guests. Okay, um, guys, you know what? Let's all go inside. Yeah. Okay, leave the girls to me. Okay. I know what I'm going to tell them. Everything will be fine. Really? Trust me. Did you hear that? That is why I'm called Okudeli. <laughs> Did you hear that? Let's go. He, he said we should leave the girls to him. That he's going to take care of them. Vincent and Paul. Can we let's go inside? Go, bro, let's go. Paul. It's our guy now. So come on, let's, let's help go. him. Huh? <laughs> Something is fishy. Something doesn't add up. Vincent answered a call. And then he took the guys outside. All of a sudden, the other friend had an accident. And they have to go to the hospital, right? Without us. You get it? You get it? Um... What are you trying to say? I am trying to open your eyes to reality. No friend of theirs had an accident. There must be something or someone. They are trying to hide from us. I mean, 
Why didn't we go with them to the hospital? Amarachi, what is the matter with you? Why do you have to bring a doubtful, negative angle to this situation? Oh, Chuma, I just, I know you will not believe me. But it's the truth. Okay, fine. If you want to confirm, right, why don't you put a call through to Vincent, your boyfriend, and find out if actually they're in the hospital. You know, Amarachi, you're not making any sense. To be honest with you, everything you are saying right now doesn't add up. Oh, my days. You are so blinded with the fantasies and lies they've told you. You know, one day, one day, you will open your eyes and see exactly what I am saying. My instincts doesn't lie. Hello, brother. I am doing fine and you. How is mama? My husband is doing okay. Kasia is fine. She is playing with her friends. No, yeah, everything is fine. Everything is all right. Everything is okay. Yes. I was calling Mama, but she wasn't picking my calls. Okay, okay. Um, just tell her that I'll be dropping Cassie with her by next week. Um, I'm starting a new business and I won't be able to be taking care of her the way I want to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Just, just tell Mama to call me. Please. Okay, brother. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, well, yeah, bye bye. picked my call. He said their friend is in the emergency unit and the doctor asked them to wait before they can see him. Wait a minute. Your boyfriend picked your call. So if your boyfriend can pick your call, why can't this and pick my call? Good question. I can see that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, just maybe he's pained by the whole thing and he decides not to talk to anyone. Pained? Oh, oh, what? I don't get it. Guys, I'm sick of this. I'm just gonna go home. Go where? We don't even know what time they'll be back. This is like exercising futility. Girl, chill. Chill, chill, chill your ma. You see, as for me, Amara, I see Don, you're not going go anywhere. And yeah, I must see it till the end. Mm -hmm. And go nowhere. I'm here. Mm -hmm. They will go and come back and meet me. I'm not going anywhere. So chill, girl. Chill. And what exactly do you intend to see? Anything I want to see, I will see it today. I will see it to the end. Show my advice, you stay. You know, just relax. It's your boyfriend's house. Calm down now. Relax. Why do I have to stay? Why? I don't know. Maybe you can go if you want to. Don't. But I'm going to stay. I don't get it. Why are you here? Why are you here? Listen, Shoma. You are one beautiful woman I have ever seen in my life. Chocolate beauty. The woman of the high and mighty. I'm so pained you, 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 you ended up with that, that loser, that cheat of a boy. Hey, boyfriend. hey, girl. You need to back off now because I take serious exceptions to people who speaking ill about my man. I am not speaking ill about your man, okay? I'm only here to tell you I have unmatched the exact reason they pulled that stunt. What exactly are you talking about? Listen, there was no accident. There was no friend in the hospital. They, they just cooked up that lie to make us leave the house. Who in the world lies about a hospital? That's to tell you the kind of man that your boyfriend is. Listen, okay, immediately you left, all right? Um, uh, Okudili called his girlfriend and asked if he was still in the house. And she said no. He now told her that they were on the way back. You get that? No, I'm not buying it. Stop it. 
I don't believe you. Listen, God brought me into your life. God brought me into your life to, 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 to destroy all this kind of men. And I will not relent in my purpose of this life. I will destroy this man. You see that boyfriend of yours? He's a cheat. He's a cheat. If you continue this way, Amara, I'm going to have no choice but to stop you from coming to my house. And then Vincent came to the house with the slot. And he was just fumbling her breasts, touching her. They were all, they almost had sex right in front of me. Now that confirmed my suspicion. He chased us out of the house because of that woman. He was bringing in another woman. <laughs> stop it. I'm never going to believe you. There is no such thing as what you're saying now. And even if for some bloody reason there was a female in the mix, for all you know, she could be his cousin or something. Cousin? Did you miss the part that I said he was fumbling her breasts? They were just all over each other in my face. They almost had sex in my face. Like, yo, he brought that woman. They stole that lie because of another woman was coming. That's the point I'm trying to make to you. Okay. I want you to go. It's been a long day, I just want to be by myself. Go, please. Really? Please go. Hey you. Hey you. Come here. I'm talking to you. Are you deaf or something? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Don't you ever insult me in this house. I am not your mate. If not for the fact that I am a gentleman and also humble, I will not receive such insults from you. I can see you are very, very insane. No, you don't have respect at all. Anyways, here, take this money. Buy me fresh apples and cucumber. Here. Yeah? Cuckoo Buy Guinea. Fresh apples and cucumber. The dog travel. Call him on phone now. Nah. You don't need cucumber. Once you call him on phone, he will just rush immediately. Yeah? If he knows that is this type of emergency, he will just come back. Cucumber BJ, Megan. What are you talking about? Eh? Yeah? I only said take this money and go get me fresh fruits down the road. And I said you don't need cucumber. What you need is Oga, just call him on phone. He will just rush and come back immediately. That's why I like um, the main madam. If it was main madam, we'd just be like, Mandela, come and get me tiger nut fruits, get me yogurt. And after taking it, she will just call Oga. Before you know it, Oga will just land. You need Oga, not cucumber. Did I just hear you say main madam? You don't understand English, or should I break it down for you? So who is the main madam? Okay, you said I should buy you a fresh cucumber and the cucumber. Answer and, um, my question. Which size? The long one, the short one, or the medium size? Does that mean your girl has another girlfriend besides me? Madam, which size do I buy for you? On the nuku, middle one, coverage middle. Anyway, let me just buy different sizes so you can choose the one you want. Can't say any other country nuku I can I like. Get going. Cucumber. Are you saying that Amara came all the way down here just to lie to you? Mm -hmm. What would be her game? I have no idea. Listen, Choma, I don't like Amara. And I don't like the fact that she cannot stay in her house and mind her business. But she might be telling the truth. Oh, dear God. Now, so listen, I know girls like Amara. Girls like that have always put their mouth where it does not belong. They go about fabricating all sorts of stories trying to get somebody to live in a fool's paradise. I knew that kind of girl, and I'd be a fool to fall for her pranks and gimmicks. Vincent is not cheating on me. I'm not just being overly dramatic. Really? My man is not cheating. 
trying to learn French, Spanish, find the foreign language with which to translate this to you. My man is not cheating. This is so unbelievable, Chioma. It is everywhere. Can't you see it? What? Yet you refuse to see it. See what? The person that saw Vincent cheating on you came to tell you that he is cheating on you and you are saying she's lying? Because he's not cheating on me. Really? She's a liar. And to prove that she's a liar, I'm going to call Vincent right now to ascertain what it is that really happened. That way you bitches can back the hell off. <laughs> like seriously, mm -hmm. you want to call Vincent? Mm -hmm. Who has done this to you, God? <laughs> All right. It's ringing. Are you going to say? Hello, guy. What's up? I do. Are you with your girl? No. Any problem? What is it? Is there any problem? Can you imagine your girl going to tell Choma that Vincent brought a woman to his house? That he is cheating on her? She even told her all sort of rubbish. But guy, I warned you this will happen. You know women and the way they behave. You mean you should not live in his house freely because your woman has a loose mouth? But you really need to talk to your girl. Like seriously, I am the one calming him down. Vincent is really angry. I will speak with my girl. But Vincent should learn to take responsibilities for his actions and stop looking for people to blame. Huh? Wait up. You know I love you. Baby, listen, it's not like that. My sister is terribly sick, and I had to go be with her. Listen, listen, babe, not to worry. When I come, <laughs> I'm going to give it to you hot, hot, babe. Yeah, okay, I'll speak to you later, okay? Babe. Okay. Yeah, baby. Were you the one that informed Chioma that Vincent brought a woman to my house? Yes, I did. And why would you do that? And why wouldn't I do that? Do I look like I care? I mean, why wouldn't I warn my fellow woman about the dangers to her life? Tell me! Listen, it wasn't in your place to do that. It is in my place. Your friend is cheating on her. Which means, indirectly, that you are cheating on me and you are here playing a scent. Yeah. What did you just say? You heard me right. Listen, I have never cheated on you. Sweetheart. Never. Your friends are womanizing. You are also womanizing. The only thing is that I have not caught you, but I will catch you. Mm -hmm. Babe, I have never lied to you. Hmm. Secondly, the reason I'm against this action of yours is that I don't want you to be the one who will bring disagreement in their relationship. I have never cheated on you. And yes, my friends may be womanizers. Those boys are grown-ups. Yes, sir. I can't influence their way of life now. Well, tell that to Chioma because you know I won't believe you. I will never believe you. Babe. Please, mind the things you say. I don't want problems. The day I will catch you with that woman, hmm? I will break her leg, I will twist her leg. Rubbish. Don't tell me that. Don't. How can you live without a word? Oh. Honestly, you shattered me. You broke me after all we shared. You didn't even tell me you were traveling to the States. I mean, all you could have done was just tell me about it and you know I'll come with you. Honestly, this is not fair and you know it. It's not fair. Uh, 
No, honestly, it's not fair. You left me all alone here. That's not fair. I mean, you should have just told me. Not leaving me in the... I'll call you back. Uh, Madam, where do I know? Good afternoon, ma. What is it? Uh, Madam, sorry. We want to know when you are leaving this house. Yes, you have overstayed your welcome. Excuse you? I'm so bad. Uh, Madam, don't be angry. You know, we're the one managing this house. Uh, and then, um, we are like planning ahead. Our guard did not tell us that you are going to stay for this long. Mm. And the full stuff in this house, they are all finished. And it's all good. And then you like sending people on air and up and down, so it won't be good for uh, us. Ma, ma, don't misunderstand us. We like you. <laughs> We're not trying to insult you, but you just have to understand. Huh? Your, your leadership in this house is like a military regime, and we are not used to that. Huh? If it's the main madam, she used to be gentle now. <laughs> you know, yeah. And uh, you, you used to send us on errand like kids. Yeah, you go tell me chingum, and then I go tell me biscuit. We are tired of all this buying sweet and chingum. Yeah, you know, our main madam, she eats everything we prepare. If she does not like the one we prepare, she will order for food. She will even buy for <laughs> buy us. For us. Ah, no. unlike you. Enough! You know what? I'll let this pass. But, who is your main madam? Um, um, second madam, hmm? with your due respect, tell us when you are leaving this house. That is the only thing we want to know. Forget about this man, madam, and anything. Don't put us into trouble. Mm -hmm. Tell us when you are leaving. Simple. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know what? The both of you get out of my sight right now. I say, I say, get out. I said, get out. Madam, it's grass, you. Out. Tell us when you are leaving. Oh, don't let these people stab me in this house. Oh, and me broken. If I don't see any food, I will eat you. I said, get out. I thank you for my night, man. Get out. Get out too. Me? By you? If they don't give me food in this house, I'm talking about my night man. Me. Get one. I said, get moving. Get moving too. I said, get out. Get out too. Yes. Give me the position. Got you. Who are you? Get lost. You get lost times two. Leave my presence right now. Leave my presence and absence too. Did you push your arm over there? What part of your body do you breathe from? Yes, sir. Let me think again. Did you push your Fool! Get man! Waka! Get woman! Waka too! We are tired of you! Only me! I don't blame you! I don't blame you! If you love me, love me, love me for real. Don't play with my heart, I can take it. For some I do you something strong. Hello? Hello, pretty? <laughs> How are you? Our future wife. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. So, um, how may I help you? Is Vincent around? Yes, he is around. But he is busy. So you can't see him now. <laughs> are you joking? Please go inside and call Vincent. I need to see him. He's very urgent joke? Do I look like a comedian? I said he is busy. You know, we were actually busy inside when I cited you coming in. So please, go back and come back when I'm gone. Oh. Oh. Don't even bother, please. I have his phone right here. What the hell is going on? Vincent gave you his phone? That's none of your business. I said, go home and come back later. Listen, can you go inside, give him his phone? I need to speak with Vincent. Oh, it's Mr. Urgent. Man, please. What is wrong with you? Listen, Vincent is my man, okay? We were having some phone time in there before you walked in. So go and come back when I am gone. What don't you understand? Leave, please. You know what? 
or leave. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot stand here and watch you insult me. Good for you. Get going. Go home. Go and do something meaningful with your life. Just so you like it. Close the door after you, please. the reason you just assumed that is because I was with the woman. Oh, hey, 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 Paul, don't, don't deceive me. Don't confuse me. I know there is a woman here. I know what your friends do. But you see, you cannot deceive me. You know if you deceive me, let me tell you. Bring her here. Okay, tell me. Why didn't you pick my calls? I was with a woman. Hey, hey. This is not a joke. I'm not joking with you. Okay, like I said, I know what your friends do. You will not expect me to trust you or, or believe that you don't, you don't do the same thing they do. For the last time, why didn't you pick your calls? You see, I am done. I am just done trying to explain myself to you over and over again. I am done trying to make you understand the kind of person that I am. So from henceforth, whatever idea you have in your head about me, stick with it. Really? Yes. Hey, Paul! Paul! Paul, don't deceive me. Listen, it's a matter of time. I will catch you. Paul, pray! not catch you in the open with another woman. Yes, because if I do, I am going to open her up. And if you try, Paul, ACM, if you try to defend her, I will open you up as well. Try me. Just try me. Babe, yeah. when did you prepare this food? I bought the food when I stepped out. I saw Maria outside, so I knew you will definitely be hungry. Wow, this food is delicious. Mm -hmm. and guess what? That was very thoughtful of you. Thank you. You're Come welcome. On. Come and join me. Enjoy yourself. Bon appetit. Merci. <laughs> mm. Mm. Babe. Mm? Why didn't you tell me that you have a girlfriend? Huh? I ask again. Why did you not tell me that you have a girlfriend? Babe, what do you mean? I don't understand. I don't have any other girlfriend apart from you. <laughs> you mean you have the guts to lie to me? And then you still eat my food? <laughs> Are you not scared? Babe, wait, listen. Listen, I swear to God, right? I swear to God, I don't have any other girlfriend apart from you. Did, did you put something in this food? Because I'm telling you the truth. 
babe, I had a girlfriend before I met you, okay? I, 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 but, but we broke up. I, I can call her right now so you can speak to her to confirm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, baby, relax. Come on, I was only joking. You are joking! Come on, calm down. It was only a joke. Eat your food. I'm not eating again. You were joking. Be ha! Good. I said it was only a joke. Come on, eat. Why were you holding the knife like that? It's just a knife and an apple. Come on, you use knife to cut the apple so that you can... Think it. Annabelle, did you mm -hmm. put anything in this food? Hmm. Boy, don't tell me you caught me here just because of... Vincent, that guy doesn't work my time at all. Well, I, I don't know what is going on between you both. But Vincent called me and asked me to speak with you. That you have refused to pick his calls. And did he tell you why I refused to pick his calls? Did he? Well, like I said, I don't have any idea as to the reason you both are not talking. But my advice is this. Instead of this rift and quarreling and ranting like women, you both should behave like men and then settle whatever issues you have. I don't know what is wrong with that guy. For real. Just because of ordinary punani that have been pumped and plummeted by several men. He's acting this way. When? When are you both going to stop objectifying women? Huh? When will you grow up like real men and treat women with the respect they deserve? Just listen to yourself. Can you even hear yourself? Hear the things that are coming out of your mouth. Hear the way you refer to women. You know what? This is why I like this. Ed. Oh, really? Yeah, so are you. Even with his fuck ups, he's still the real deal. Okay? You are too uptight for my liking, like for real, boy. You are too uptight. I, I am too uptight. Now, let me educate you a little. Real men don't act the way you both do. Yes. Real men don't kiss and tell. No, they don't. And they don't talk about women in such a condescending manner the way you and Vincent do. So I advise you, grow up. Wherever you see Vincent, tell him, I said you both should grow up and start treating women. I right. think i rather marry Vincent. Yes, Sorry. because the two of us cannot reason together. Okay. I wonder what Vincent says in a Jew man like you, Paul. Listen, Vincent only told me that he wanted to get what he needed from that girl. I should give him some time, and which I am ready to give him that time that he deserves. Instead of wasting my time with you, Paul, I did not invite you to my house in the first place. You drove all the way from your house to this place to complain about Vincent. So my advice is this. You both grow up. That's you know what, Paul? Advice. I thought I was going to talk to a real man. Good afternoon, ma. Hello, how are you? I'm doing just fine, ma. Okay. My old guy's not around. I know that. I'll wait for him. Okay. What's wrong? Is there something you want to tell me? Ma, I don't know if I should concern myself with this, but my conscience would not let me be. You're a good person and you deserve better. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ma, I know you to be a kind and smart lady. Mm -hmm. You're a good person. And I know you love Maoga so much, but I'm double-minded about this. You are double-minded about what? Out with it, now! What if my old guy is cheating on you? What if he's cheating on you and you found out? What would you do? He's 
your boss cheating on me? Did he bring another woman into this house? Did he? Ma, you've not answered my question. You haven't answered mine. Did your boss bring another woman into this house? Hey, Ma, please, I'm coming home to get something. The love of my life. How you doing, baby? Good. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Did I keep you waiting? No, not really. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Are you okay? Have you had something to eat? I ate before coming here. Oh. You're welcome. Great. You look beautiful, as usual. In that case, let's go into the room so I can show you a lot of things. You just got back. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. I want to show you how much Junior misses you. I didn't come here for stuff like that. I mean, I came to spend quality time with my man. Quality time devoid of sex and whatsoever it is erotic. I, Big. I don't want to see Junior. Alter Junior. In fact, tell Junior to stay right there because there's nothing for him here. Babe, how can you say a thing like that? Huh? Wait, you don't miss me? Oh, are you cheating on me? Just leave me alone. I think I should go. Babe, wait, wait, wait. Chama, calm down. Chama. Chama, what's wrong? I miss you. Come on. I'm talking to you. It's me, Vincent. I know. Why are you acting weird? Come here. Babe. Babe, why are you spinning me around? Stay. I miss you, baby. Come here, babe. It's me. I'll call you. Choma, why are you acting weird? Choma. I will call you. Cho Wait, Choma. I think you may have had a point all this time. I'm lost here. What point? Vincent doesn't love me. Only. <laughs> you know, no, never mind. I, I shouldn't be telling you this. Like, seriously? I'm an outsider or what? What am I? I don't know what to say. Or think. Or do. But it's time to become apparent that prison is not. And it's not for real. I mean, with him it's just sex. Sex, sex, and more sex. I'm just trying to recall the many times in the past where I was this close to visiting him, but then I disclosed to him that I was in my period and then he came up with a million reasons why I should stay back. That's not love, that's just sex. And I've never had, I have never had cause to pause in my tracks and and think this way about these things, but here I am thinking about it. I'm starting to think that chances are he's actually cheating on me and lying his ass off about it. I don't know what to say right now, Choma. For me to get to the point where I have to stop in my tracks to edit this moment just tells me that that indeed Vincent is not for real. Choma, see, everything will be fine. Just calm down. It will be all right.
Second, oh, madam, this one you are sneaking in like a oh, thief without you? your car. I hope so they never rob you. My dad, that's because I came in a car. It's better. The country is not safe. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's better for you to be riding with, disguising yourself with a cab. Because they might kidnap you once you carry that your big car. Not to worry. Is your guy around? Uh, no, he's not around and he did not inform me that you are coming. Oh, really? That's because I did not come to see him. I came to see you. And I got you this. Go on. Wait. Like, seriously? Go on. For you. All this for me? Yes. What? Second, madam. In fact, because of this, mm. let me promote you to first, madam. Because <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> if I may ask, why do you bring this gift for me? That's because there are things I want to find out from you. Uh -huh. I said it. Don't no, 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 wait. I said it. I said you have come to put me in trouble. You want my worker to sack me. Because I know that thing you want to find out must put me in trouble. Don't shout. That's nothing like shouting. I'm a lazy go from my never said this name from. Trust me, I promise no one will hear about this. Mm -mm. I have trust issues when it comes to women. After what happened between Delilah and the Abacha in the Bible. If you want me, if you want to find out anything from me. Just pay for damages in case of necessity or in case of in case it. You know, what, what part of your body do you even breathe from? Sometimes I breathe from my nose, eh? sometimes it's from Mongada. Money is not the problem here. It's not the problem at all. How much do you want? Madam, you are not ready yet. When you are ready, I will know. Money for hand, on me pay. I said name your price. And now you are talking. <laughs> this is business. Uh, <laughs> Second, madam. How much do you want? I'm madam, not bluffing. Just, just for now. Just give me anything you like. Then if I go inside, I will not tell you my price. You know, from here, from the gate to my quarter, it's very, it's a long journey. Just bring tea fair first. So you like money this much, eh? You like Lego You like being paid. You like Lego So you want me to pay you now? You can even pay in kind. What? It's a wild road. You don't that's, know your size. That's a sexy one. You water. don't know your size. It's not by size, yo. You book me like a horse. Can you beat this? Are yeah, you okay? I don't use small pill, I use big pill. Mm -hmm. Your boy like a colloid will. Come here. Hey, madam, the madam. Hey, madam. Hey, madam. Where did Vincent pick this animal from? Huh? So you don't know your mate? So, I have been calling your line and you haven't been taking my calls. Oh, you tell me another lie. You probably forgot your phone in the toilet. But I am talking to you, Paul. Why were you not taking my calls? I called countless times. Amarachi, I need you to leave my house now. You lie! God! Now lie, you did lie. You didn't hear no pattern. You just didn't talk nonsense. You are talking in the nonsense. Leave your house where? Eh? After everything I have suffered with you, you want me, you want to use me and dump me. For where now? Where did it happen? It's not possible. You are talking rubbish. Like I said, leave my house. I'll reach out to you when I need. Oh God, Paul, you know I'm not living anywhere. I'm not living anywhere. What is it? You will not break my heart into pieces. You can't do that. I gave you my everything. We have suffered together. You want to, you want to throw me out. Who does that? 
You are not serious. We are in this together forever. Get that into your thick skull. You know, I can't seem to get it. I have tried and tried and tried to just imagine this and I can't figure it out. Hmm. I don't understand how I was so insensitive to your hypocritical side. You're speaking English. How, how was I so blind? I mean, why was I so blind? Hmm. You accuse me hmm. always of cheating on you. You suspect my every move in this house. Yet, you were the one cheating. Sleeping around with so many men. Listen, Amarachi. I don't want to get mad. Get out of this house this minute before I get mad. I'm sorry, I don't know. The devil came over me. Babe, come on. You know that I love you. You are the only man I have ever been with since we started dating. I will never cheat on you. You know I love you. You know that. I am just... I'm sorry. I, I was just scared that you, you were cheating on me. That's all. I have never cheated on you. Can you just remind me again? Where did you say you spent your weekend? Babe, my sweetheart, I told you that I was visiting my sister in Enugu and that uh, I, I, I'm just coming back from there and I, I just came straight to your house. Yes, I'm just coming from Enugu. And your sister lives in Padelia Hotel. I mean, your sister who lives in Enugu. Her house is now Padelia Hotel. Huh? Listen, Amara, stop fooling yourself. The man you spent your weekend with happened to be an acquaintance of my friend Vincent. And I know. So all this pretense, all this thing you're trying to act, you're merely fooling yourself because I know everything. Your activities, that's casted. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So stop this pretense. Because you are merely fooling yourself. Like I said, get out of my house. You've been the one acting mad. You don't want to see my mad side. Please. Please. Marachi, I will not repeat myself. Please. Get out. If you love me, love me, love me for real Don't blow my heart, I can take it Cause I'm gonna do you something strong So strong, so strong Hey, hey, don't go out Oh, yeah Yeah, actually one step down Yeah, gently like that Yeah, another step Yeah, let's go Ooh, mm. oh, Listen, if I finish with you you're going to know who the real daddy is. Oh, I can't wait the to be real dealt with. zaddy. Yeah. I can't wait. You can't wait to be dealt with? Oh, great. Let me just drop the bag. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll take you up. Like yeah. this. Yeah. Vincent, you shall never be well with you. Oh, you think you can spoil my relationship? And you're here, gallivanting and flirting with a girl? You have something coming for you. You're very stupid. Amara, what are you doing here? You're asking me that stupid question. Look at you. Kiss and tell. You don't want to stay in one place. Don't be man. Be a man. Be a man. You are not a man. Babe. Baby, who is this lady? Oh, you are calling him baby. You are here with him. He's a kiss and tell. He will sleep with you and call his clique of friends and they will have sex with you and he will post it on social media. That is the kind of person he is. He sleeps and tell everybody that gets to here. And then you'll be all over the place. Idiot. Kiss and tell. Be a man. You're not a man. Look Mandela. At you. It's yours! Mandela! Run! Shasa! What is this woman doing here? What are you doing here? You are very stupid! Now bundle this woman out of this house! Now! Which of them, Morgan? Tumbon, tumbon, tumbon. I never see this one before. Make her bundle her. Mandela! I said bundle this woman out!
out of here! Okay, Jukwanya, you look very well. This is your spec. You are very stupid. You are mad. Then this sense, you they crazy for your hair. Madam, you see, I will deal with you. Madam, pick up your number. We told you respect. If you respect me, I will respect you. Help my job. Listen, if you don't bundle this woman out of here, you will have me to contend with. Madam, allow this fine girl to enjoy that you being. You don't shut up your mouth there. You will sleep with you and tell everybody. Now you listen to me. I have no eyes on you. Thank I you. will tear you apart. This is what you people be. I will lose your tongue if you chop it. Okay, this is. Come on, get come on, get come on, girl. I need to explain to you. I need to tell you the truth. You see that woman that just left this house? She's my cousin's sister. Yes. Unfortunately, madness runs in their family. Her father died of madness. I personally took her mother to the psychiatric home before she died. Her sister ran mad yesterday and now she has started showing symptoms of madness. <laughs> Agami, the coast is clear. <laughs> she has, she's gone and nobody's going to disturb you again, so just have fun. <laughs> Mandela, if you don't live here right now, I'll do something bad to you. Like I'm not trying to be a disruption of phone, no. I'm only doing my job. I'll make sure I guide the gates and nobody's going to enter this house. Unless you want me to open the gates. Mandela, get out of here! Sorry, sir. Don't you ever call my line. Don't you ever come looking for me. And be careful not to come close to anyone I know. Because that will be your end. Babe, listen to me. Wait, wait. Are you going to do I this? I said, leave me are, are alone. You, are you leaving me because of the mad woman? Leave me alone. I just told you madness runs in their family. I said, leave me alone. Um, 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 Oga, should I call the other Mbamboku? See, this one is not interested. Get out of my way. Madam, wait now. I said, get out. My salary is supposed to enter today. Why are you doing get this to my Oga? Get out of my way! Okay, but Spakata, should I go to Abakariki Street and bring you Abula Panama over Halo so you can manage for the night? Mandela! Okay, but Spakata. Mandela! Let me find you. I'm going down there to be to Abakariki. Mandela! <laughs> Hello, guy, what's up? Paul, Paul, listen to me. Hold that bitch you call a girlfriend. Hold that bitch you call a girlfriend. If I see her anywhere close to my house, I'll kill her. If I see her anywhere close to my gate, I will kill her. Can you imagine? I was at the verge of having fun. I was about to have sex with a new girl. This girl came and ruined everything for me. Yes! She came and spoiled everything! Okay, let me say this. For one, she's no longer my girl. So, bro, you are free to take any action you want to take against her. And please, you don't need my permission. Now listen to me, I don't give a shit. Tell her to stay away from me. Tell her to stay away from my house! Else, you'll hear a sad news flash. Please, don't call me next time talking about anything in regards to her. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yes? Please hold up. Yes, I cheated on you. Yes, I cheated on you. But I only did it because I thought you were like your friends. Please. Baby, I love you. You're, you're the essence of my existence. You're my life. You're everything I've ever wanted. I'm sorry. Please. Please. Amara. My love. Please, I need you to leave. And I don't want to ever see you again. My love, please. I only cheated on you once. 
and I was with him. I, I, I did that because I thought you were going to break my heart. So I needed someone to console me when you do that. And I swear I love you. I'm sorry. Please. Please. You don't seem to understand my point, Amora. I cannot be with a woman that doesn't trust me. I trust you now. I cannot be with a woman that lies to me. Please, no. Please. And I cannot be with a woman that finds nothing wrong in sleeping with another man. So please, I beg you in the name of God, leave my house. No, baby, please. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was just once. And the guy doesn't even mean anything to me. You're better than him by far. You satisfy me in every ramification. I don't know. It was the devil or devil. It was the devil, babe. Please. Please. Stop. Thank you, my love. Thank you. God bless you. The love of my life. Please, you cannot go inside. Organ all day. You said that already, and I told you that this is a surprise visit. Mm -mm. I'll wait for him. No, 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 man. You cannot go inside there. It's very dangerous. There's a very big snake inside the house. A snake? No, never. Snake that even swallowed uh, Maria, the cook. A real snake? Ha! It's not like a real snake, but it's like a real snake. So a you cannot snake go inside. Look at Maria. Oh, thank God. Dude. Yes, no, ma. Welcome, ma. Maria, what's going on here? But everything is all right inside. You can just come inside and see for yourself. <laughs> Did your boss leave instructions that I not be let in? Ma, please ignore this fool. My Oga did not tell him anything. Just come inside, sit down and relax. He will soon be here. <laughs> Maria! Maria! I come out your queer. You are the one allowing the first madam into the house when the ghost is not clear. My hand is not there. Be because I'm the one that Oga will sack, and if Oga sack me, I will sack you too. <laughs> Story. Please, ma, come inside. Madam, there's a big snake there. Oh no. Ah, please, 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 Hi. Who are you? Maria. Who is she? Moment of truth. She is Oga's main girlfriend. She has come to see Oga. My name is Choma. Who are you? You are Vincent's girlfriend, I presume? Mm -hmm. The ex he told me he broke up with last month? Tells by moonlight. Yes. She is not ex. She is our main madam. She has been the only constant girlfriend I've seen in this house since I started working for Maoga. Eh? Other girls come and go. They don't ever return. She is the main <coughs> madam. Other girlfriends? <laughs> this is becoming more interesting. So you just sit down and watch the movie. Hey, darling. <laughs> My angel. Mwah. Mwah. How was it, babe? It was stressful because I missed you. Oh. Yeah. I can't imagine. I know. But not to worry. Your angel is here to take good care of you, okay? I know, babe. I hope the house is not too boring for you. No, it wasn't. Oh, great. I was actually busy making your favorite food. 
Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Because I know you'll be hungry. Well, hungry is an understatement. I'm famished. You are? Yeah. Okay, so why don't you go freshen up right. while I set the table? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Get going. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> um, baby. Yeah. Did you read the story on social media? I mean, it's trending everywhere. Story? What is it about? You mean you didn't come across it? No, I haven't. It's okay. I haven't seen it. I'll tell you. Okay. What's up? A guy who was cheating on the girlfriend. Okay. The girlfriend got wind of it and confronted him, but the guy denied it. The girl believed him. But then somewhere along the line, the girl caught the guy with this said girl. Do you know what she did? Mm -mm. <laughs> she beat up the girl and she set the guy's car on fire. What? I'm telling you. On fire? On fire. Why would she do that? I mean, why would she set his car on fire? I mean, it's, it's okay to fight her fellow girl, but putting fire on his car is totally unacceptable. Well, all I know is that the girl did not do well. Well, yeah. I mean, she shouldn't have set the guy's car on fire. Exactly. She did not do well at all. Yeah, that's, that's my point exactly. Listen, you know what? If I were to be that girl, do you know what I would do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll prepare his favorite meal. Mm -hmm. Make sure I add enough pepper and sleeping pill in it. Then, when he falls asleep, I will cut off his prick. Make sure with it and feed him when he wakes up. That's exactly what I will do. Feed him when he wakes up. What? Not to worry, baby. Let me go get the food, okay? Which food? Baby, the one I prepared. Come on, baby. Let me get your food. I I'm sorry. I I I'm not hungry. But you just said I am finished. not hungry. Baby. It's food! I have lost my appetite, sorry. Why? Yes. I'm telling you. Of course. But you know what? Let me call you back, please. Okay. Who is it? What's up? I'm not okay. I shot myself on the leg. I'm finished. Which is better? To have shot yourself in the leg or to have had someone shoot you? I cheated on Paul. And your bastard boyfriend told him what? and now Paul broke up with me wait a minute you mean you cheated on Paul or oh, he found out you've been cheating the whole time if you know you're going to be mean to me just let me know let me I'll take my leave Well, girl, from where I stand, that's good riddance to bastard rubbish. Because all those men are nothing but scum. Mm -hmm. What happened? Did, did Vincent do something to you? <laughs> I met one of his numerous girlfriends. <laughs> but I told you. I told you, but you wouldn't listen to me. Vincent is he's something else. Oh, you see, Paul? Paul is quite different from them. A friend of theirs told me that he's not like them. And you believe that? He wouldn't lie to me. He wouldn't lie to me. And that's the reason I regret re cheating on him. I 
I know you from somewhere. She's gone. Girl is shameless. What does she want? Why are you eavesdropping on us? Pill. Calm down, okay? Calm down. Mm, calm down. Where did Choma even get a crazy friend like you? Me crazy? Oh, you wanna say oh. crazy? No, you wanna say crazy? Take a chill pill, please. Uh, calm down. Rubbish. I'm not here for trouble, girl. I'm here to see Choma because she invited me. Are you okay now? She invited you. Yes, she did. She did. She did. Okay, go. Let me see you. Let me see you walk. Oh. What does she want? But you guys were done. You were eavesdropping. And you know I hate that. Please go back to the room and quit eavesdropping into my conversations. I don't like it. Yes, ma'am. You gave me the address to your place, remember? Thank you. So, now that you remember, how is your boyfriend? He you called me since yesterday, I refused to pick. Oh, please. You have to pick his calls. Please. I don't want him to be aware of all this. You really need to pick his calls, please. Wait a minute. You really expect me to pretend like nothing? Nothing is going on. Please, Choma, you have to. How? You have to. I don't want him to know we already know he's cheating on us. I mean, we need to give him back a dose of his own medicine. Okay, what you're asking me to do might be easy for you to pull off for reasons that I don't know. But from where I stand, I can't pull it. The guy in question is someone that I loved. I could never... But then he's cheating on you. And he is equally cheating on me. Do you like that? Think. We went four times. And this girl wanted more. I had to run for my dear life. In fact, this girl is fire. She finished me. You know what? I am contemplating on making her my rich chick. Vincent. Okujili, congratulations. I'm happy for you. But in my own case, I don't know what's going on. I think something is wrong somewhere. All the women I know are acting weird. Choma, my woman, I always fall back to. When I'm horny, she doesn't take my calls anymore. She doesn't reply my text messages. I feel like someone took my name somewhere or something. Now let me ask you. Are you trying to tell me that no one is picking your calls anymore? No one. They keep giving me excuses. Listen, I've been sex starved for days. And Choma, my only hope, is ignoring me. She doesn't take my calls. Hmm. She doesn't reply my text messages. I'm just confused, bro. In that case, I will hook you up with my landlord's daughter. Yeah. You see, um, I am done with her. So, Vicent, I can pass her. In fact, I'm ready to share. 
<laughs> Okudili, you're my friend. Yeah. But I don't like what you do sometimes. Listen, if you want to hook me up, hook me up with the right person. Yes. What do you mean you want to pass on your landlord's daughter? Is she not the same girl you said her thin smells? Huh? So you want to get me infected with STDs? Please say something else. Okay? Listen, calm down. Listen. Beggars not get choice, so she you know. Now let me ask you. You want them, maybe you don't want them. Do you need her? I'll use a condom, don't worry. <laughs> Doing here, leave that. What is your problem? Please leave. Oh, I do not want to see you again. Leave. Really, why are you now? What is the problem? Eh? Why are you all tight towards me? Eh? Are we quarrelling? Eh? I thought we have settled all these all these issues before. I have told you, I can't have anything to do with a man that beats his wife. What is this? What's your problem? Eh? Says who? Moi. Me beat my wife. Oh, did my wife come here to report to you that I beat her? Oh, sister, leave. I told you that I can only have something to do with you if only you can start taking care of your wife and stop maltreating her and stabbing her and your child. What is it? I am not maltreating my wife. Eh? Believe me, we have even sent my child to my mother-in-law's place for her to stay. Believe me, oh, my please. wife and I are good now. Stop lying. I am not lying. You are lying. No, I lie. Oh, sister. Leave my house right now. I do not want any trouble. Cassandra. I don't want trouble. Please. Cassandra. Leave now. Cassandra. Leave my house. What is it? Cassandra. What kind of thing is this? Ah. to tarnish every attempt of me to be happy in life, eh? What have I done to deserve a witch like you in my life? What have I done? Oh, Sita, what have I done this time around? Now listen, go back to Cassandra's house. Tell her that I've never laid my hands on you and that I've been treating you nicely. If not, I will set this house ablaze with you in it. Okay, Sam, come in my own bed. Good. Ah, ah. What nonsense. I can never be frustrated in my house anymore. Nonsense. Ah, can you see? Rubbish. Ah. Oh, oh, get it. This is kerosene. Yeah? And this is matches. Yeah? If the kerosene is not burning the house fast like you want, you tell me I can rush and go and buy fuel immediately so that it will be fast. Faster than you even work. Eh. Yes. Okay. Okay now, one. Okay now, one. Wait for me. Useless idiot. He he, he goes away. Come back, woman. Where are you? Come back here. Come back here, man, woman. Yeah, man. You. My, husband. my husband. Your husband? He wants to kill me. My husband wants to kill me. What happened? You know, I've been keeping quiet since he has been beating me, starving me, carrying women around the village. Today I decided to stand up to him and he wants to kill me. Lady, if I may ask, what are you still doing in that marriage? How can you continue like this? Do you want them to carry your corpse out of that compound? Is that what you want? He won't understand. He will not understand. My parents want me. <laughs> they want me not to marry him, but I refused. I did not listen. I cannot go back. 
I cannot go back to my parents. I cannot. That's not an option. You don't have to go back to your parents. You can get an apartment somewhere. Look, look, you cannot continue staying with that man. That man is toxic. He might just kill you one day. I wish I can. I wish, I wish, I wish, yes. I wish I can, but I have no money. I don't even have money to take care of myself. The only money I had, that man took it from me with the promise of giving it back to me. Goodness. Until now, he has refused to give me back my money. The <laughs> opposite took your money away from you. He took my money and refused to give it back to me. This is serious. I don't even have money to take care of my child, let alone taking care of myself. Look at me. Idema, look at me, man. Look maybe, at maybe, me. Maybe this is serious. You cannot continue to live like this now. Do you know what? See, just put yourself together, okay? Put yourself together. I have to do something about it. because you have refused to leave her husband alone. Osita sent out of the house. We know! We know. Cassandra, you have won. You have won! I'm sure you're I, happy I, now. I do not understand what you're saying. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? What are you trying to say? Look, I will stop you from coming to my house. What is your problem? If your friend has issues with her husband, they should sort it out. And it has nothing to do with me, Cassandra. Do you understand it me? It has everything to do with you. It has nothing to do it with me. It has everything to do with it you, has Cassandra. Nothing to do with if me. you don't stop seeing that man, I will report you to your mother. No, report and me I will to make anybody. sure you're dealt with. Take me to God. God I do not care. I will not take you to God myself, okay? Eh. If you like, stop being my friend. If you like, be my friend. If you like, stop me from coming to your house. I will tell you I the truth. I never told you I wanted a friend. Uh -huh. Did I ever ask you I wanted a friend? Am I the one that is begging for a friend? You can go to hell. Am I the one that is for a friend? Uh -huh. Leave somebody's husband. Yes, alone. I will not leave him. I am not ashamed. Yeah. She's now crying. I'm yes. sure you're happy. I am not ashamed. Leave him alone. I am an international Olo show. I am not ashamed. I am shameless. Leave him alone. Get out. I'm not looking for a friend. See your life. Look at her. Short thing. Come now. You think I have shame? International Olo show. You don't know me. Nonsense. Idiot. Look, I don't want trouble, and I do not have any business with you. You cannot say you don't have business with me. You've turned my husband against me. He no longer cares for his family the way he used to. He doesn't come home, except he wants to pick something from home. All because of you. Yet you stand here to tell me that you don't have business with me, Cassandra. Hey, no way, you lie, Cassandra. As long as you keep digging my husband, Cassandra, we have business together. Woman, if you will be honest with yourself and tell yourself the truth, your husband did not suddenly change because of me. Stop blackmailing me, please. It will not help you. Do you know that the watch you are wearing belongs to me? What? He stole it from me just like he has been stealing all my money I'm giving to you. And yet you tell me that we don't have business together. See, Cassandra, leave my husband alone, no. Leave my husband alone. If you get married and your husband treats you the way my husband does to me, will you like it? Of course, I will never marry a man that would treat me like a trash. If you do not like what your husband is doing to you, leave him and stop crying wolf. Do you know you're a very wicked woman? You're a very, very wicked woman and my God will punish you for everything you've done to my family. Cassandra, leave my husband alone, no. I'm begging you, I can kneel down for you, leave my husband alone, no. If you don't leave my husband alone, I will make sure you run away from this village. Oh, really? Yes, do your worst. Do it, yes. I have tried my best to make peace with you, but I can see it is obvious that you want to stay with a man that will end up killing you. Yes, it is very obvious. Do your worst. You cannot do anything. Nonsense. It's your business, your Cassandra. Leave my husband alone. Let me warn you. you. Don't you ever talk Leave to me again. Leave my husband alone. No, you cannot do me anything. You don't know me. I do that you keep digging my husband. We have business. Come and give me my water. The one, all the way. See, don't try me. Oh. 
Don't try me. Don't try me. Madam, my Oga says you meet him in his room. Go and tell your Oga that I am equally waiting for him here. Hey, Maria. Hey, Maria, you have suffered. So the both of you have seen somebody that does not have a love life. So you decide to use me to play your love. I am tired. I refuse to go up and down. So, would you prefer I tell your Oga that you have refused to run errands for me? Hmm? This is unfair. Oh. I do not like this at all. Come, Maria. Will you claim that you do not know the reason your Oga wants me in his bedroom? Hmm. Whatever reasons he wants you in his bed, it's nothing you cannot handle. Hmm. So I would just say you should apply more wisdom. Use your thumb to count your teeth. But why are you still doing this job? I mean, why are you still hanging around such a terrible womanizer? Why? My Oga is just my Oga. He's someone that pays me monthly salary and I do not like to discuss his personal life. Eh? So, all of you should know better. I have something on the fire. I need to check it. Excuse me. To play this game safely, I have to stay off his room. But I have to give him hope before Juma arrives. Hi. This is the watch my brother bought for me. I've been looking for this watch since. I even asked you and you told me that maybe my witchcraft members have stolen it from me. I never knew you took my watch. You stole my watch. The watch you couldn't buy for me. You stole it. And you had the guts to give it to your girlfriend, Osita. How dare you? <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> oh, oh. Did you just call me a thief? Eh? No, no, wait. Did you just call me a thief? Nabim! Osita, you are not just a thief. You are a pathetic thief, a useless thief. Mm. Osita, you are the most useless thief I've ever seen in my life. That's what you are. Me? Yes. A useless thief. Yes, Osita. Bumwa. Yes. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Osita. Do I need to tell my boyfriend that I'm coming to his house before I come to his house? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Don't misunderstand me. You see, this house belongs to me and it belongs to you too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Belongs to the two of us. That's yes, right. Yeah. Ooh, your bag looks like a ball. Nice. It's a purse. Oh, purse. And I want to relax. Oh, wait, 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 babe, listen. What is it? Oh, oh, oh. Take it easy. You see, I gave you this purse so you can leave. Yeah. Why? I just got here. I, I, I know. Uh, sorry, I didn't tell you. You see, my pastor, my spiritual father, he told me in confidence and in private that 
he had a revelation about me. He said, I got shot in the head. He, yeah. What? Yes. So he asked me to pray for one week to avert, you know, that, that re revelation. Okay, that is not your portion. Amen, amen. So, so I have to pray for one week so it, it doesn't come to pass. Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll pray with you. Let's go. No, 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 babe, babe, babe. Listen. What? <laughs> you can't pray with me. Why? He said I should ensure that nobody comes close to me when I'm praying. So that means I have to pray alone. Yes. I have to fast and pray alone. Yeah, so you, you can't be around me when I'm, I'm praying. You know, he said I should ensure that I don't, you know, go close to any woman so oh. I don't get tempted sexually. Yes. I, I have to pray so that, you know, what happened in his dream doesn't become reality. But this is so confusing. Who want to shoot you? What did you offend? Babe, I have to pray for one week. Listen, I have to pray for one week so, so that the, 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 the revelation doesn't come to pass. I will make sure you are destroyed. And no woman, no woman in this village will ever look your way. Then I will leave your house. Useless man. Oh, come on, baby. You know I love you. And I can't wait to join you in the streets. Huh. Don't even say you missed me. Were well, you not the one that left me here without a word? Ha. Huh. I nearly fell into depression. Huh? I had to make some friends. If not, I don't know what would have happened to me. Yes. Oh. You know, I miss you so much. I can't wait to be with you. I want you by my side. Um, uh, uncle. Yes. <laughs> Are you serious? That was what our uncle said. <laughs> uncle is so funny. Oh, baby. <laughs> You've been on the phone for so long. Are you sure you were speaking to your sister? Come on, baby. Okay, do you want to talk to her? I can just give you the phone to speak to her. No, no, no. It's not like I don't trust you or I don't believe you were speaking to your sister. Mm. It's just that I... <laughs> I missed you, baby. Baby! Yeah. Stop it. Uh, you left the bedroom without doing anything. Oh, and that's not on. right. Oh, come on, baby. That's against the rules of my bedroom, baby. Stop it. Yeah. Come on, baby. I told you. Okay, we're going to spend this whole weekend without any bedroom business. So be a good boy. Are you serious with that? Mm hmm No. That's impossible. Because my big boy is hard, baby. I knew it. Can you feel it? I knew Can it. You, you feel Stop it. it. Feel it, baby. Oh, you know what? What? Why don't you go in there and take a cold shower? Believe me, your big boy will calm down. What does that mean? Go take a shower. What does that mean? Listen, touch it, baby. It's hard. It's hard for you. Feel it, baby. Feel it. Feel it. Okay, 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 Feel okay, it. okay. But I made it clear. No bedroom business this weekend. Big boy, no. What do you mean by that? <sighs> Can't we just do something else? Jeez, share ideas? Touch it, it's hard, baby. Paul, how could she even ask a question like that? Like seriously, what was she thinking? Huh? This is about sex. W was she thinking we were together or we are together to motivate each other? Huh? Listen, the worst is... She has refused to leave, so another woman can take her place. Isn't that witchcraft? You know, I like this girl. No, sincerely. I like her very much. She's the best for you. Oh, what do you think this is? You think, you think I'm here to joke or something? What else do you want me to say? A woman 
wants something serious with you. I mean, she wants something deeper. I think it's something you should be happy about. Paul, as far as I am concerned, right? The only thing serious here is when I'm on top of a woman and I am digging deep. Deeper. Nothing else matters, bro. I don't give a shit about her. Well, in that case, I am not the right person you should be speaking with right now. <laughs> You're actually talking to the wrong person. So how do I tell her what matters? Yes, I was going to say, how do I tell her? How do I start to tell her? You haven't been fair enough, and you know that. Listen, if you don't subscribe to her wants in the relationship, then open up. Be a man. Let her go and stop wasting your time and her time. Huh? If you love me, love me, love me for real. Don't blow my heart, I can take it. For some I do you something strong, so strong, so strong. I, I, I. Please don't take me for a fool, for a fool. Cause if I got you, if I got you. Cause life is one, so we live today and tell story tomorrow. Hi. What's with the face? I'm very disappointed at you. This was not the plan. How could you spend the night in his place? Oh, calm down, girl. What's that for? Calm down. Nothing happened. Nothing. I had to stay back so that I can frustrate him all through the night. And guess what? I did. Mm-hmm. You heard me. There. Why didn't you come out? Because it wasn't your time. It wasn't. I had him dismiss you. I mean, he knew I was in, so he had to dismiss you. But guess what, girl? He begged all through the night. You didn't see him begging like a baby. Mm-hmm. Come on, nothing happened. Oh, calm down. Mm. That's what it is. You know, I'm not even gonna lie. I was pretty upset and embarrassed at the way he was hushing me out of his house like I was a damn criminal. I had to demand for 200,000 naira from him. Otherwise, I wasn't going anywhere and then he bulged. Imagine, dude fucking paid 200,000 just to have me exit his premises. Wow. I was that desperate to have you. Same thing I did. What? I mean, when he continued begging like a baby, I had to collect 300K. Trust me. He gave you money. 300K. That's what he gave me. Mm -hmm. And then, and then what? You, you caved and, and, and gave in to his demands? Oh, on, Shoma. Don't allow your heart to wander. I mean, we are in this to frustrate the Casanova out of this guy. He got nothing of me. Nothing at all, so you don't need to worry, okay? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ned, where did you keep my clothes? I can't find my clothes and my shoes. Where did you keep them? And why are you asking me? I'm not your security, Abby. Uh, Ned, it's just the both of us in this house. Eh? Or are you saying that thieves broke into this house and the only thing they could steal was my clothes and my shoes? Yeah, Oga. If you can't find your clothes, you go and buy another one. Hmm? It's too early for you to disturb me. Don't, don't ask me useless question. Now again, Eddie, where is your clothes? Am I your security? It's too early for you to give me headache in this household. Just let me be. 
Don't disturb me. Lady. Are you talking to me like that? Uh -huh. In my house? Before Uncle. Nabem. Oga, see, if you try, if you if you step an inch again, if you try as much as step your leg let alone raising it, I swear I will damage this your arm that you are using to do kezai in this video. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Oh yeah, come and touch me now. <laughs> let me okay. damage you your life. Uh, hey, you you idiot. No, come and beat me. You think it was before you will be beating me? I will just stay and watch you beat me. No, come back. Idiot. Um, Who is it? I will not want to get you in trouble. Um, babe. The, the, the truth is, I, I had to discontinue the prayers. Oh, really? Yes, I, I had to pay my pastor to, you know, continue the prayers on my behalf. Oh. I could, because I, I, I've missed you so much. I, I couldn't stay one more day without having sex with you, baby. Baby, I've missed you. Is that why you didn't let me into your house? Hmm? Baby, listen. I didn't tell you. I've not been staying in my household. Yes, I've been putting up with uh, Paul. My house is very messed up. But the truth is, it's not like I don't want you to come to my house. My house is very messed up and you can't come there now. Baby, I've missed you so much, I swear. And my big boy misses you too, baby. It, it gets hard at night mm -hmm. and falls down because of my prayers. But I, I, I just said I, I can't continue like that. I have to come and see you. I missed you too. Ah, baby, are you sure you miss me? Yeah. But, but you're not acting as if you missed me. I take one hug. Hi, baby. Ha, mm. baby, baby. Baby, mm? my big boy misses you. Can, can we do something really quick? Like what? Let's, let's do it quick. Yeah, but my roommate can come out now. Your roommate? My friend. <laughs> Is she here? Mm-hmm. Baby, t tell her to give us some private moments now. Eh? T tell her to give us some privacy. <laughs> We need some privacy, baby. We, we, baby, I've missed you so much. You're a funny guy. Where should I send my friend to? I can't do that. Baby, let her wait outside. That would be cruel. You know what? Let's just go to your place and manage it like that. Hmm? Baby, listen. Do you know? I didn't even tell you. Why? Do you know why I said you can't come to my place? So I fumigated the whole house. You did? Yes. The, po the rat poison killed a lot of rats. So my house thinks you can't go there. You can't. That's why I had to come here, baby. That would mean we have some rats to trash. Let's go and tidy up the place and use the space. That's why you pay rent over there. Let's go. Baby, baby, baby. Listen to me when I talk to you. There are so many things you don't know about me, baby. You see, the house has no water. Oh. My landlord disconnected the water supply. Your landlord? Yes. Why would he do that? I, I don't understand. I even took a sheet and I couldn't flush it. Oh, dear God. If you, the whole the whole house stinks. Mm. So you can't go there, baby. Why the hell will your landlord do that? That's just crazy. Baby, forget about my landlord, please. Mm. Focus on me now, baby. Yeah. Baby, I want to have sex with you. It's been a long time. Yeah, you haven't had them, huh? Baby, you want to see it? It's hard. I don't want to see it. Baby. Yeah. Baby, do as if you you miss me now. You don't miss I me. I do miss you. Come here. Baby, you're not serious. Baby, ask your friend to go now. Let's do this thing really quick now. Nah. You'll be alright. Baby, come now. Baby, you'll, baby, you'll be alright. Baby, baby, let's do this thing now. <laughs> do baby. what? Baby, can we go to the bathroom? No! God! What? Baby, you, you don't want to send your friend outside. Let's go to the bathroom and do this quickie now. What baby. are we, animals? Baby, I'm a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
How did you get in? And meanwhile, what are you doing in my house, Osita? What is the mean of sit down? Sit down. Osita, leave spot. my house. Go back to your wife. You better go back to your wife, Osita. Baby, listen to me. Yes. Still, you know that I cannot stay a day without you. Yes, my wife has turned into something else. She wants to kill me. So don't send me away, please. Osita, your wife is harmless. Yes, it is you that do not have sense. Hmm? Yes, you do not have one single sense in your brain. Huh? I have told you for you to get access to my house. You have to treat your wife right. What is it? And see, what, what did you do now? I'm talking to you. Cassandra, there is nothing you will do for that woman to please her. She's a witch. So please, sit down, let us talk. Don't send me away just like that. Sit. Oh, Sita. Hmm? Do not allow me to scream. Oh, Sita, please don't let me scream. <laughs> Leave my house right now. Kasawa, <laughs> Kasawa. You want to scream? Check it out. <laughs> I brought this money for you just to prove how much I love you. Rosita, <laughs> why are you doing this now? No, mm. Calm down. <laughs> I hope your wife will not come here to come and cause trouble. Come where? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She dares not. Because I don't like any wahala. She won't. <laughs> Kill. I don't count. <laughs> Let us go inside. <laughs> Give it to me. You miss me? Ow! <laughs> yeah, 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 ah! yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a tiger. I will beat you up. Take it easy. Come on. Babe. What? Someone's at the door. I don't care about the door. I'm not expecting anything. No, 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 no. Hey. I mean, it could be important. I mean, I'm not running away. We no, can continue okay. when the person is. Babe! Madam, madam, please. And I'm already in your black book. But please, you just have to forgive me. You know, I'm only doing my job. I don't want to lose this job, Biko. Mandela, I have no issues with you. I think you should go back to your duty post. Y yes, madam. I know you don't have any problem with me, but I have problem with everything in this house. Oh, please, this is not the right time for you to be here. Biko. This is wrong timing, Biko. Wrong timing? Biko. See, I'm not complaining. Okay, I can help you get the door. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Just get up. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. You know, just stay here. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jeez. What do you mean wrong timing? Um, Sab, don't be angry with me that she's already inside, Biko. 
I, I try to stop her, please. <laughs> original madam is original madam. I cannot stop. If it's only all these uh, useless guests, I'll just throw them away. Hey, it's okay. You can go back to you. What did you say? You know, I cannot push original madam. You can go back to you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, babe. Are you the one that asked him not to let me in? No. I can't do a thing like that, baby. Why should I do that? Because... You know what? Forget yeah. about it. I missed you. And I came to make up for the last time. I, I miss you too. Take care of Junior. Oh, baby, yeah. I, I, yeah? I feel you, but that, that wouldn't be possible. Why? Because my mother is here. Your mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My mother is here. <laughs> what? She's in the kitchen right now and she might come out anytime. I want to see her? No, baby, no. Why? You see, I haven't told you who my mother is. <laughs> Tell see, me. My mother is a very religious woman. She's one of those religious women who preach marriage before sex. Okay, if she finds out that you come to this house to visit me, not outside, she's going to think you're a prostitute. She's going to think you're a bitch. She's going to think you're, you're harlot. Um, and I don't want that to happen. I think you're over-exaggerating. I'm going to just greet her and begin to get acquainted with her. Begin, that's my future mother in law No! Baby, you don't understand. My mother is a very difficult woman. Mm. Listen, she hates indecent dressings. Yeah, yeah, and I'm all clever. Trust me. No, no, you don't understand. She doesn't like women putting on trousers. Oh. Yeah, she, she thinks uh, it's a man's job. So listen, my mother is going to call you a harlot if she finds you here. So I don't want that to happen. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. My mother is going to call you a prostitute if she sees you here. Mm -hmm. She's going to think we've been having sex. Right. So can we kindly go out? Thank you. Baby, come. On, let's go. <laughs> Baby, you don't know. My mother would not like to see you here. Oh. Annabelle. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? And why are you dressed up? Where are you going with the bag? Baby, come down. I just got an urgent call, okay? I have to attend to something very important. Oh, right come now. on, Annabelle, no! You can't do this! No! Babe, listen! Come on! My big boy is up. We have to finish what we started. Yeah, you, you want to take... Are you serious right now? Yeah! No, no. Are you even listening to yourself? I said I got an important call and I have to attend to it urgently. So please, uh, and you're here talking about your big boy. Yeah, I mean, it's up. It's up for you. Listen, babe, I, I, I'm not trying to force you, but come on, I miss you and I just want us oh, to... Time is of the essence here right now, I okay? Know. Babe, babe. I don't want to believe that you are this unreasonable. I, I, we're not talking about being unreasonable here. My big boy's up, babe. Come on. And I have to run, babe. See you. Babe! Babe! So this man had the cops to leave this house for two days now. He left his home to a harlot. So this is how he wants to abandon me after everything. Everything we've been through together. He wants to abandon me because of a woman that sleeps with everything in shorts. I've made him pay. I have been patient enough. I have tried being a good wife, but they have decided to shatter my heart into pieces. They should wait for what is coming their way. Hello, brother. Mommy. 
<laughs> when are you giving me the 20,000 naira you promised me? Yeah. Don't worry, eh? I will give you the money tomorrow. Really? Yes. <laughs> Just keep making me happy. Mm. And I promise you, I will always provide you all your needs. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Thank tired, you so tired, much. Tired, Don't worry, I'll, I'll be rubbing this to your head. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go there? Can we go there? Go 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 punish you! Go go punish you! Hatita! Hatita! Go go punish you! Guys, finish dealing with him, then I will take over. Osita! Osita! How did he go? I am sure he is in his bedroom right now making use of his suit. <laughs> <laughs> you are so evil! You can say that again. How did you come up with these things? Mm. Yes! Very easy. Tell me about it. Very, very easy. Trust me. <laughs> Although, it does seem to me as if we're playing. Because what I really want, what I hunger for from my innermost self is to crush that guy. I want to cripple him so bad. I want to hurt him as much as he has hurt me and so many other women. That's what I want. Are you the one saying this? Are you sure that's what you want to do? Girl, you heard me. <laughs> I want to deal with Vincent. So much so that he will never in his entire miserable life ever think of hurting any woman in his life. That's what I want. You know, if I'd wanted to cripple him, it would have been very, very easy. But no, I have my plans. <laughs> One step at a time. Well, I don't care if he's worth it or not. Oh. What I want is to crush him. So damn bad. That's the story. Big trouble. I need to leave this village as soon as possible. Hey! What happened? Why do you want to suddenly leave? I thought you said you've not gathered enough money to move back to the city. Yes, I said so. That is why I need to leave before I will not be able to live with my complete body parts. I don't understand. First off, you called me to rush down here and now you just locked the door. Is anybody threatening you? Yes, some deadly looking men came here earlier today. It was by the grace of God I escaped. Yes, so, ha! I just pray that Osita is still alive because from the look of things, the way they descended on him, ha! Ah, I pray that he survives it. Cassandra, I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> My dear, I think Ned sent those dangerous men to kill her husband and I. Hey! Ned! Yes, I had to escape. And from the look of things, they might come back to look for me. Cassandra, don't tell me Neddy's brother has visited. That's death sentence, so. What? Are those Neddy's brothers? <laughs> From what you're saying, if truly those are Neddy's brothers, my dear, you have to run for your dear life. Those boys are dreaded cultists. Hey! If they are Neddy's brothers, why will Osita be treating her the way he does? <laughs> that is... Ah, God, that is not nice at all. Hey! Look. Osita has been joking with his life all the while. That is because Nedia has been blinded by love. Yes, so. Osita does not know who has, he has been joking with. Those boys are dangerous. And they never supported this marriage. Hey! I am finished, oh! You're truly finished, oh! Hey! Asanda, you're finished. Um, see, you need to help me. Please, borrow me some money. What? Madam, why are you looking at me like that? 
I don't like this thing you're doing. No. I don't like it at all. You found out he's cheating on you. Break up with him and let him go. Stop playing these silly games. I should let him go? Let him go after everything that he put me through? Let him go? Go where? <laughs> you know, the fact that... The part that annoys me the most is the fact that I still feel something for that stupid idiot of a man. And you want me to let him go? Let him go where? You lie, girl. He ain't going nowhere until I'm done dealing with his ass. I don't like it, though. You don't have Honestly, to like it. I do not like it. What's these silly games you're playing with her? See, leave this thing. Move on. Be hopeful. One day, a better guy would locate you. Don't you believe that? Hello, sugar. I'm doing fine, sugar. I haven't seen you in a while. Don't worry, just calm. I'll give you discounts. I'll take off 10% of my usual price. Are you coming? All right, can you please make it today? Okay. I'll be expecting you. All right. Hi. Ciao. <laughs> Hello, Ponky. I'm doing great, Ponky. I thought you said you'd be coming in this week. <laughs> Can you come today? Let's make it all night. Don't worry, I'll give you a discount. All right, I'll be expecting you. Okay, I've missed you so much. Alright, bye. I suppose send all these people message you. I need to send a text text message, eh? So that all of them could just come at home. Because as I did, so I need money. Oh. I need better money. Eh? I need better blocks so that we feel go back city. I don't try to stay for this village now. Which kind of nonsense is this one? We can't record it. We got to send a text message. You don't go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could not hold myself from bursting into laughter when he narrated this whole story to me. <laughs> oh, but it's funny. I mean, the whole story is funny. And guess what? Vincent will not dare narrate this story to me. <laughs> he wouldn't. I am happy the way that Annabelle of a girl is treating him since he has decided to be a fool for her. That's how simple. Well, I wonder what he did later. Yes? Not even a welcome hug? Huh? I... Yes, I made a mistake. But can't you just forgive and forget? Amarachi, what are you doing here exactly? I'm just checking up on you, boo. I want to see how my baby is doing. Well, as, as you can see, I am great. Very fine. Can you go now? Come on. Stop it. Yes, I made a mistake. I said that I was sorry and I am still sorry. Yes, I cheated on you. It was just this one time. I am human. 
I am bound to err. To err is human, to forgive is divine, right? If I do not love you, I won't be here begging to get you back. And you have a very ridiculous way of showing that love. I just love you. Anyways, fine. Even if you don't want us to date anymore. Come on, look at it. Come on, baby. Come on. Can't we just be friends? I mean... I mean... I don't want to lose you completely. Huh? Well, you know... That... Friendship... Is not possible. That will never happen. And yes, all these things that you just showed me, of course, they are nice. Yeah. Very nice, in fact. Mm -hmm. But there is something that is nicer. And of course, you don't have it. Come and celebrate with me, Maria. Come, 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 come. I've got just increased my salary. No, 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 no. It's very open. I am waiting. Not just the salary. I am no longer a good man. Look at me very well. I am now the inspector general, inspector of this house. And I could not care about it. It's very obvious that you've exceeded your gate for today. Do not allow Oga to see you like this. Okay, you think I'm that your boyfriend that doesn't know his gauge? That your boyfriend now bamboo me? Look, Maria, don't insult me. I am not in the same level as you. I have been promoted with salary increment. You know what I mean? Now let me give you a sound warning. Never you in your miserable life mention my boyfriend. Let me warn you. My boyfriend is an Okada man. At least he's the bona fide owner of the Okada. That makes him a big man. He is not your mate, neither is he in your class. Mind the way you shout. Don't go out and start telling people that your boyfriend is an Okada man. Look at the way you are even saying it. Ordinary Okada man. You are comparing an Okada man with a professional security man. A promoted inspector. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Okada man. Let me tell you. Okada has put me in charge of everything happening in this house. Nobody leaves this gate without my permission. Nobody enters this gate without my permission. Even Oga himself cannot leave this gate without my permission. Maria, if you leave this gate or enter this gate without my permission, I will sack you. I will fire you. Fair enough. Fair enough. At least for once in your miserable life, you'll be useful. You are an idiot. Idiotocracy belongs to you. Maria, you are a graduated fool. In fact, Maria, you are not coming mad woman. You are a final year idiot. You are just being jealous. Ah! Is that there? Ah! All right, they gave my investigation. Maria. Maria. Maria! Sir? Yes, sir. Is everything ready? Yes, I'm done cooking. Should I serve the food now? No. Wait until Choma arrives. Okay. Vincent, what is wrong with your big man? He refused me from coming inside. I had to knock him off before I was able to come in. Why? Why didn't you call me? Okudili, you were supposed to call me before coming. I don't get it. I pay him good money to protect me. So he's doing his job. Listen, when this one starts, you should have called me. Hey, you can go.
Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good, baby. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> I'm doing great, baby. I bet Ooh. you are. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Babe. Oh my god, babe, do that again. Just, like that? just do that again, baby. Oh, 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 babe, that's too much for me. Is no, it no, not? it's not too much for me. I, I like it actually. I know you do. Come here, baby. Babe. Hey. I have missed you. I know. I have missed you. I've missed you like the rain misses plant. <laughs> yeah. Lucky for you, you get to have me all through the weekend. Oh, baby, say that again. Yeah. All through the weekend. Uh huh. That sounds sexy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Babe, wh wh why don't you just go inside and freshen up? Mm hmm. Come outside and have lunch with me. Oh, oh I really yeah. can't wait for the food. Ow! Oh, 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 oh! What is it? Ow, 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 ow! Babe. Oh, Ooh. that was. My crouch. Oh, I'm so ooh, sorry. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I'm sorry, babe. babe. That sack you just hit mm, is not just delicate. Oh. It's very, very sensitive. Why? So you need to treat it with care, babe. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. That was painful. Sorry. That was really, really painful. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, shit. Who's calling me? Ah. Ah. Babe. Ah. Are you going to get back? No, it's not important. No, no, it's not. Uh, it's not good. Babe, li listen. I, I think you need to go upstairs, freshen up, come down so we can have lunch. That's a good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This shit is really painful. I come in with me. Babe, babe, babe don't, don't do that again. Don't, don't do it again. Oh, 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 oh. You want me to do Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Babe, oh, oh, oh. I, 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 you, 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 you promised not to do it again. Babe. I'm keeping my promise. This is the second time. Babe, that place is very delicate. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, thank you. Uh, why don't you just go inside? That's where I'm going. I know, I know. Come back and so so, so we can have lunch together. I want to have lunch with you, baby. Yeah. Baby, but don't hit my crotch again. Thank you. But it's my crotch. I, I know. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. All right. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What? This girl is a witch. This girl is a witch. How? How did you know I was with someone? Why are you calling me? Why the hell are you calling me? Huh? Is she following me? Is she monitoring me? How the hell does she know I'm trying to have some fun? Your name is not on the list of those visiting today. Please, just go back. I cannot let you in. What because... rubbish list are you talking about? Eh? Let me open the gate because before I get angry, are you mad? Uh, excuse me, ma. Things have changed in this house. Can you hear my English? Things have changed. You cannot just walk into this compound anytime you like. You cannot just walk into this compound without an appointment. So please, go back home, book appointment properly and come back. Then I will let you in. Simple. What kind of human being is this? I ask you again, what part of your body do you breathe from? Sometimes from my nose, sometimes from my third leg. Did your uncle put you up to this? No, did he ask you not to open this gate or let me into this house? Madam, I mean no offense. I mean no offense. But let me just tell you the truth. I'm doing this for security reasons. Our august happiness is in danger. And we need to protect it with everything we have got. So please, leave! What do you mean by your guys' happiness is in danger? Madam, sir. My friend, open the gate, let me leave before I get angry with you. Madam, I don't want to shout with you. Just leave. Oh. Madam, I say you should leave. Okay? I don't have time for all this rubbish. Oh. Leave. Oh. And do you think I have this time? I do, Madam, Madam, I can open the gate, let me go. Madam, one. Madam, two. I get... I'm on, what is wrong with you? 
Mandela, <laughs> gang, 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 gang. What kind of human being are you? Go and book appointment properly and you come back. You keep dead, man. You don't have job. Always looking for where to open your legs like a factory gate. Now, check a same man. Now, ha, Mandela, you go. Now, what? Now, what? Hey. Please, can you call me back? I'm in a meeting. I am at your gate right now. And your stupid and disrespectful gate man has refused to let me into the house. That's because I traveled. I am not home. Okay, listen. I'll call you back. I, I, I'm in a meeting. Please. You are not in town? Vincent, how come you traveled without letting me know? No, I have... Listen, listen. When I come back, I'll let you know. When I come back, I'll tell you about everything, okay? Oh, okay. At least let me go in and rest before I head home. I'm tired. I, I, I left with the keys. Who's Let me call you about this. I'll call you about this. Stupid fool! Can you beat that? Eh? Who does that? Such insolence! Hi! Who's hey, baby. Hey. Trust me, this is not important. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Now that I've freshened up, where do we begin? <laughs> Tell me how you want it. Uh, how I want it? Rough, smell, or a <laughs> mixture of both. <laughs> Hell, baby, baby, baby. Cause I'll give it to you, however you want it. I go, baby, baby. Just finish me. Yeah. Baby, 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 baby. Finish me. Come okay, get it. I got situation report, sir. Baby, don't worry about that. It's not important. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You just finish me, baby. Ooh! Ow, <laughs> baby! Ooh! What the hell is that joy killer? Baby, it's not important. Baby, can we go? My girl sent this into a short report. Do you want me to help you get that? Baby. Baby, sit down. Sit down. He says it's an emergency. No, 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 no. Baby, it's not important. Believe what I tell you. Mandela. Mandela. Sir? Why are you staring at me like that? Oh God, there's something I want to tell you. Seriously, you, 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 you need to increase my salary again. Biko, if you see the way the second man have fought me, but trust me, I proved to her that I've been in the military before. I lifted her up. Put her on my shoulder. From my shoulder to my head. From my head, I threw her out. Okay, so you can see I'm doing my job very now, well. Now shut up, you lizard. Is that why you almost gave me a heart attack? Who asked you to report to me? Can't you mind your business? Why do I pay you? Huh? Okay, I'm just giving you a situation report. Just I just asked you a question. Who asked you to report to me? I just want to prove to you that I'm doing my job very well. Now listen and listen good. If you try that nonsense again, I'll fire you. Yes, sir. But, uh, my friend, get out of this place before I give your job to someone else. Okay, sir. Sir. Sir, what about the salary increment, sir? Lose your job, lose your job. You think this is the only job we have in Nigeria? Oh no, Baba, Eh? You open your brother, you there, cannot pay me enough money for me to manage. Every time, lose your job, lose your job. You think I'm doing this job with all my heart? I fight for you in this gate every time, both spiritual and physical. You cannot increase my salary. Man, man, go see all When I will just open this gate, and go here with me. Let me try it. 
I'm taking my leave now. My mom just called saying she's in my house. You said what? My mom just called. I have to leave. She's in my house right now. Your mother is in your house? Mm-hmm. Well, what's your mother doing in your house? I don't know. I think there's a problem. But babe, tell, tell her to come back in the evening now. Tell your mother to come back in the evening when you're there. I can't do that. She came all the way. I just need to find out what it is that babe, made her come. Babe, listen. You, you can't go now. Why? I don't understand. I, we need to finish what we started, baby. I miss you. I know. Baby, please. Talk. But I'll be back as soon as I find out what the problem is. Baby, wait. Baby, please, now. I'll be back. Come here. Yeah. See you soon. Baby, are, are you sure about this? Mm -hmm. If you love me, love me, love me for real Don't play with my heart, I can take it For someone I do you something strong so strong, so strong Aye, aye, aye Please don't take me for a fool, boy, fool Cause if I got you, if I got you Sandra, I would rather you go to Nidia and apologize instead of running to the city where you have nobody. Have you forgotten I spent so many years in the city? You don't have to worry. I know my way around. No, it's not about knowing your way around. You don't know anybody there. How are you going to cope? Of course, I will check into a hotel and I will easily find men who will continue to pay the bills. Of course, you know I am a pretty woman. And it's an advantage and a great asset for me. Oh my God! <laughs> I know that part. I'm just worried. You know the days are bad. What if something goes wrong? Of course, don't worry. People like me who do not have anything to lose will never fall into any wrong hands. <laughs> I'm just worried, you know. I know you're worried. Mandela! 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 Sir! Pack your things. You're leaving this house right now. I'm gonna joke with your joke. I've been away. Listen, I said pack your things. You are leaving my house right now. And if you don't, I'll get you arrested. Okay. What can I do you now? Don't do anything. Okay, please don't sack me. Be cool. No, but don't sack me, big con. Big con, no, no. If I forget about my salary in three months, forget, don't pay me again. Oh. Guy, what's up? How far now? How far with those girls for the week weekend? Okay, big con. Okay. If you sack me, I have nowhere else to go. You, could. you know I love my job so much. I'm always neat. Hmm? You could forget about the salary. Don't pay me again. Oga, be cousin. Oga, even if they disappoint you, I can provide gears for you. Oga, just, just mention it. I'm going to have a lot of money. I'm going to have a lot of money. Even if you want the one that is, that the gas is bigger than vents, I can bring them for you. Mosquito size, but we don't know. Even Gongo or Toyin I'm not going to. Okay, good afternoon. No. Oh. Um, I need some money. I need to get some things from the market. Oh. What are the things you want to buy? Please, I need 5,000 naira. Be fast about it and stop asking me silly questions. Um, I will go ahead and get you the money. Oh. You know, as your husband, I'm supposed to know the things you want to buy. 
Let me bring it for you. Oh. Mm. Don't let go. Come in. Ah, you didn't mind you are here. Yes, so that's Are you on my way to the market? Oh, mm, well, I wanted to find out if you'll be chance to make my hair. Well, tomorrow will be fine. Tomorrow, mm, yes, yes. Ah, Osita, mm. good afternoon. Wait, tomorrow will be fine, right? It's okay. I'm, 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 I should be on my way now. Mm, wait, let's let's go together. Um, my husband, mm -hmm. when you are done cleaning the house, washing the toilet, and cleaning the kitchen, just help me and wash the clothes at the back of the house. Mm. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I'll go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, you're looking fine. Thank you. <laughs> Nigel, if I may ask, what are you still doing in that kind of marriage? Kyo, you are young and beautiful. Every man's dream. That guy clearly does not love you. He's just doing everything because of the fear of your brothers. The first time Osita met me, he told me he loves me. I refused to budge. He did everything possible to win me over. He kept pestering me. And finally, I fell in love with him. And he wants to dump me just like that. Look, 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 look. Men can be cruel. Some can be very mean. They can even go an extra mile just to have you in their bed. But that's not enough reason for you to fix your happiness to that girl. You have to move on. Move on. Do you know that I was a virgin when Osita met me? Are you serious? Yeah. I told Osida that I don't want any other man to disbage me other than my husband. Hey, Annabelle, the love of my life. Hey, sugar. How are you doing? Mm -hmm, fine, just hanging in here. I'm not doing fine. I mean, you left my house and promised to come back, but you never did. I know. You know how it is, okay? I've been very busy with stuff. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry about that, but come around. Let me help you relax, okay? Um, not today. Um, I mean, not this week, okay? I'll be very, very busy. Wait, wait, but you told me categorically that when I give you the money, you would sort things out and come to me. Yeah, I know I said that, but, um, sorry, let me attend to something. I'll call you back, okay? I'll call you back. I'll call you. All right. This is petty. Oh. Very petty. <laughs> but I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm loving this pettiness. You know what? I know he will come and ask me for his money. But you know what? This money will be part of my target compensation. Mm -hmm. By the time Vincent will know what hates him, mm. I will already be in US with the love of my life. A baby girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, baby boo. Hey, Malicha. How are you doing? I'm fine, sugar. How are you? I'm not doing fine. I, I don't know, but I feel like you have changed. You're no longer that Omalicha I used to know. Baby, how can you say that? I am still your Omalicha. I don't think so. You don't take my calls. You don't reply my text messages. I don't understand what's going on. Blame it on work. I've been busy, but guess what? I'm gonna make it up to you, baby. I promise. Okay, you know what? I want you to come over to my place right now and make it up to me. He wants me to come over. Don't, don't tell him you are busy and you cannot come. If I don't go, he'll he'll sleep with some innocent girl. Sure, I should go there and frustrate him. I should. Hello, baby. Oh, hi. Are you there? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go freshen up and I'll be with you shortly. Ah. Okay, that's fine.
Wait. I need to go and frustrate this guy. Just wait. Are you sure about that? I got this girl. The way I see Vincent right now, uh -huh. he might want to whip any woman that wants to leave him with a hard on. I can handle him. Are you sure? I'll be back. Man. Man. <sighs> I'm sure you don't even know what you've got coming. <laughs> Why is your face like this? Well, isn't it obvious? We weren't the ones he was expecting. Listen, calm down. You do the hustle for women. And on top of that, there's still a plural do on top of your head. Listen, listen. This is my house. I am not going to tolerate any form of insults from you. Okay. Well, it is obvious you're not in a good mood. And that is very inconsequential to me, as I am here for my money. <sighs> Paul, listen, speaking about your money, you, you have to come back because I don't have any here. Which guys? Yeah. Vincent, when did you start borrowing money? And don't tell me it's because of a woman. No. Vincent cannot borrow 500,000 naira just to give to a woman. He's not like that. You think so? Am I wrong? That reminds me, Vincent. What about that new catch? Um, the Cassandra girl. The one we talked yeah! about. Yeah! The one you said is from a region that has money to throw. Yeah, listen, I'm taking my time. Good one. I don't want to rush things. But guess what? She's so pretty. This girl is so fine. Sometimes I feel like she's one of those girls that will ride you. Huh? Ride you. Non stop! <laughs> I like that word. Must it always be about sex for you? How do you even share the private moments you have with women? Why do you even talk about it? You think that makes you a man? Listen, I am just tired of both of you. I'll be expecting my money tomorrow. My phone is on. Paul! What is wrong with you, Paul? Vincent, just come down, okay? Come down. So what's up about this game? Hmm? Cassandra. Hmm? You're looking at me as if you're not happy to see me. Well, then what else do you want to hear from me? I have given you all the clue you need, yet you still do the same thing. You're a good woman and you deserve better. It's as if you love Maoga so much that you cannot see beyond your nose. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. I don't think so. I don't think so. But it's not my business. I wish you all the best. Let's go to bed. I have a presentation tomorrow and I'm not done preparing. But you can go, I'll join you when I'm done. Um, <clears throat> baby, this can wait, all right? I promise not to waste your time. When we're done, you're going to come back to this. Wait a minute, you're asking me to? You're asking that I suspend this just so you can have sex? Um, 
baby listen this this can actually wait okay Let, let's let's go upstairs we'll, we'll just do a quickie then you you come back to work <laughs> you're saying i cannot sleep in my boyfriend's house without having to grace his bed what type of question is that no seriously choma what, what type of question is that huh are you not my girlfriend don't i have the right to touch you don't I have the right to have sex with you? Vincent, you're scaring me. Listen, it, it, it's not like this is going to take time. Choma, this is not going to take time. Alright? Wait. Why didn't you tell me you had something to do when I asked you to come? You're shouting. Why did you not tell me you had a presentation when I asked you to come and visit me? Listen, drop whatever you're doing. Alright? Whatever presentation or whatever you're doing and follow me to the bedroom right now. Vincent! You're scaring me. Baby, listen to me. Listen to me. It's your baby boy. Stop being insensitive. I promise you it's not going to take time. I'll do a quickie. Real quickie, baby. You're going to like it. And by the time I'm done, you just come back to working again. Okay? Come here, baby. Really? Mm. To be honest with you, I was scared. I came out to drink water from the kitchen. I saw a guy. The way he was looking at me, I was uncomfortable and I wanted to go back to the room. He called me back. And then he started behaving somehow. So how did he behave? He said I should come close. He held my hands. He was asking me what I was doing awake. I told him I came to drink water. And then he asked me if there's any other thing I was going to be doing after drinking the water. Now what did you answer him? I told him I was feeling sleepy. That I needed to go back to the bed. Uh, then what happened next? Just me. He said, okay, I can go and drink the water. Uh, is is that all? Yes. Like that was all. Mhm. Mm so why are you why are you scared? You just made me listen to this gist. I see something something juicy will come out from it. What kind of rubbish is that? I wasted my precious time listening to rubbish. It was the way he was looking at me. It was not normal. Then display the word that was looking at you. Was he looking at you on your costicale? Or lustfully, because I know a girl cannot look at you lustfully. You don't have, you are not sexy. <laughs> I am not sexy, and you're dying for my matter. I have seen that talking to you is a waste of time. Excuse me. My friend, get out from here. A guy is looking at you lustfully. You don't have, you don't have front, you don't have back. And a nigga, Anya, you can well, are you well? A guy is looking, a guy is just looking at you suspiciously because you went to, you went to the kitchen to thief meat. A guy is looking at you. Yes, yes, who is that? Hey, bro. What's up? Hey, come in. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Um, Paul, um, this is. Cassandra. And babe, th this is my friend Paul. Hey Paul. Yeah, and, and Paul, this is the woman I have been telling you about. The one that stole my heart. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, babe, come and make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. Vincent. Yeah. yeah? Can I have a word with you? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I, I'll be with you shortly. Hey, make yourself comfortable. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Take, take your time. Vincent. Vincent. Yes. Yeah. I'm coming.
What is the meaning of this? How do you mean? L listen, Paul, you would have to excuse us, okay? Because I need to shag this babe. Choma has refused to leave. Where have you been? Huh? I've been calling you severally. You've not been taking my calls. I even went to your house. Didn't Choma tell you? Where's my money? Really? Bro, let's talk about this some other time now. Eh? Listen, Annabelle took some money from me and she promised to pay back. So when she does, I'll, I'll give your money back to you. Are you kidding me right now? Huh? So you borrowed money from me for Annabelle? Well, well, yeah, yeah. She, she said she wanted to do something, that she needed to sort herself out. I said, okay, fine. So I, 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 gave, I, I gave her the, the money. She, she promised to give me back. That is not my business. Call her. She's not taking my calls. Don't you understand? Listen. I trust her. She's going to give me the money. When she does, I'll pay you back. Simple. But first, I need you to leave the house. I need to shag this girl. Listen, I, I bang really hard. And I know you're old school. You don't like such noise. Bang in my house? Yeah, like the noise is going to stress you out. That is not going to be possible. Bro. How? I won't let you turn my house into a brothel like you've done to yours. Paul. So please, you want to bang? Paul. Get a hotel. What do you mean by that? Go to the hotel. My house is not available. Paul, Paul, it is me. I know. It's Vincent. You know. It's Vincent. Yes, I know. Paul. Get a hotel. Eh. Is this what you're saying to me? Get a hotel. Is there this what you're saying to me? Around. Okay, now, no problem. Banga. Hey, baby. Hey, darling. Uh, and babe, listen, I um, I want to take you to somewhere very special. Why? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm beginning to like it here. Babe, listen to me. Just listen to me. Come on, listen to me. Listen, um, I have to meet up with someone. It's really, really important, okay? Are like, you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it has to do with my business. Oh. Come here, we would come back. Are you sure? We would come back. Oh, please. <sighs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. We will definitely see you again. Life is not You're welcome. Please sit. Sit, please. Once again, welcome. So, tell me why you decided we meet here. Why? And um, how did you get my number? Well, I I got your number from my ex. She has been telling me everything you and Chema are planning. And that is the reason I've called you here. So you mean the reason you've been disturbing my phone is just this? Listen, man, I don't have time for this chit-chat. I don't. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> Vincent sent you, right? No. Vincent did not send me. I have tried um, approaching Chioma a couple of times and she has refused to listen to me. And so I decided to call you. Please. Whatever this game is that you both are planning is a dangerous one. Oh, listen, um, your friend thinks he's smart. But I just want to tell him that he is not smart. I know he sent you. He did, right? Like I said, Vincent is totally unaware of this meeting. 
We may be friends, but we don't reason alike. And the truth of the matter is, we don't even agree on a lot of things. I want you to listen to me as a brother. Because I'm communicating with you as my sister. Whatever this plan is that you and Shoma are planning or orchestrating, it's really unhealthy. Please. Well, um, <clears throat> it's good a thing I am not your sister. So you don't even have the right to talk to me as one. You don't. Your friend is getting exactly what he deserves. Well, if this is all, I have to take my leave right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, Vincent, I have, I have tried my best. This is the best I can do. tell me you were coming? Because if I had told you, you'd have given me a series of excuses why I shouldn't come. Okay, so, how are you and what are you doing here? I want to understand why you are meddling in this girl's business, telling her everything I told you. Why would you do that? help. I am just trying to help. Listen, this game your friends are playing or are about to play is a very dangerous one. And my friend Vincent can be very mean, especially when his ego is bruised. He can actually go to any length to get in whatever his heart once. I feel it will not be a good thing if you find out what your friends are planning. The end will not be nice. And what makes you think my friends are not ready for him? Well, whether or not they are ready for him is not the problem here. The fact is that I am re-emphasizing that the game they are playing is a dangerous one. And you tell them, tell them to stop before things get really bad to the point where they will not like it. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Halt it! Do you think Vincent can threaten my friends? Is he in any way? Do I even say threat? Do I? Well, I would not call it a threat. I would rather see it as an advice from an honest person. It's just my honest advice. I need you to leave everything you are doing right now and meet me up at Vincent's house. We need to end this. Yes, my dear, I am tired of all this. Plus, this might get out of hand and we don't want that. See you soon. Mmm. Yeah, right there. Right? Right, right here, here. No, babe, in my ear, just check some. Can you see anything there? No, I can't see anything. All right, check, check this one, check this one. Oh, oh. Dude, you're stressing me. Yeah. <sighs> Hello? Hello, Vincent. I am on my way to your house right now. Hope you are home. Uh... Y yes, yes, I, I am home. Okay, see you soon. Huh? 
Okay. What's it? What? What's going on? How could she? What's it? My, my mother just called me now. Well, she said she's on her way to my house. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. What? what? Babe, listen. I, I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but I, they come together. Or before she visits him. I don't get it. Does it mean your mom doesn't want me to be in No, 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 house? no. You don't understand. I said my mother is a very religious person. Oh. You see, and she is of the opinion that a man and a woman must be married before they get entangled. Yeah, so she wouldn't be happy if she comes right now and sees you here. That's what I'm saying. So you want me to go, right? No, no, no not like I want you to go, 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 go. You get it? I just want you to you know, stay away for a while so she can come and leave. I, I'll, I'll let you know when she, she leaves, okay? All right, fine. Ba babe, babe, listen, wait. It's not what you think. I'm not chasing you out of my house, okay? I'm not chasing you out. I'm just saying that my mother would give you an attitude if she sees you here. You know, you're very pretty and, you know, listen, just smile for me, babe. Like seriously, yeah. no bit. Like seriously, yeah. yeah. But I I'll let you know when she leaves. I promise. It's fine. All right. I'm still going. Yes. Um, my dear, who are you? Another bitch. What? Another bitch? My dear, I am one of the women you share same bowler with. <coughs> mm hmm I do not understand what you're talking about. Who the hell are you and what are you doing in my boyfriend's house? Your boyfriend's house? <laughs> oh baby girl, come off it. Listen up girl. I am not here to make any kind of trouble. Mm -mm. I'm done with him. So you can have him all to yourself as much as you want. I am not a threat to you, so just calm down, okay? I'm only here to settle something with him. Mm? But then I have an advice for you. Just bear in mind that this ship you are in is leaking and it will soon sink. Let that marinate. Have a nice day. Excuse me. No, now. I shouldn't be doing this. Huh? Why should I be fighting for a man that I know I am not going to be serious with? What nonsense. Rubbish. Why are you in my way? I need to get inside. Babe, babe, listen, listen what? to me. Listen to me. What is it? My mother is around. We can go somewhere else to talk. Your mother? Yeah. Oh my god. I want to see her. Baby, no. Baby. Why? Babe, listen to me. We, we can go somewhere else to talk, okay? You can leave, please. Vincent, cut the crap. All right, because no matter what you say, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna see your mother. I'm gonna share hugs, drink some tea, and have some fun. Baby, baby, wait, wait, wait. Listen, Get out of my baby, way. Baby, baby, come to think of it. What? You left this house without any prior notice. You don't take my calls. You don't return my text messages. And now you just show up here, babe. Things don't work like that. Okay. Now you're blowing things out of proportion. I mean, it's not like you're the only one who's mad. I was mad at you too for what you did the last time. Mm -hmm. By the way, you called me just twice. So why are you making a big deal out of the whole situation? Wait, 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 wait. I got to go baby, inside. Baby, you can't go inside. I my mother is there. She, I want to see your she, mother. She, she's she's, you got, she's what, naked. Got, oh. you just... <laughs> That's funny. Get out. Baby, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Your mother. I want to see your mother. Baby. Hi, mama. Babe, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I just want to see your mom. What the fuck? Babe, babe, you have to leave now. Oh, now we're dancing your mother. No, you don't understand. You babe, told me is... she's inside. No, it's important. You have hi, to leave. Hi, mom. Babe, babe, wait. Why, is... why do I have to leave you, when your mom is here and I'm supposed to say hello to her? Babe, listen, you have to leave right now. It's very important. Are you being serious right now? Yes. Because I refuse to dig it with you. You want to break up with me? No, no, babe. Wait, hi, it's not, mom. Babe, it's not a joke. You're going to hurt me, it's man. Not... Hold on. Hold on. I'm talking to you. Get babe, wait. You have to. Oh, there's your mom. 
Your mom looks so good. Oh my God, your mom looks so young and pretty. Hi, ma'am. Hi, it's nice to meet you. You're his mother. It's nice to meet you, ma'am. My name is... What's my name again, Vincent? What is going on here? You look so good to be his mom. Oh my God. Who is she? Please, we need, we need to talk. We do? We need, to, we need to talk. Let's talk here. Because I want you to tell me who this lady is and what it is she's doing here. Please, guys. I, right now, before I, I, I lose my goddamn mind. So I want to explain to you guys. You cheating on me? No. Love me, love me, love me for real. Don't play with my heart, I can take it. For some I do you something strong, so strong, so strong. I, I, I. Please don't take me for a fool, boy, fool. Cause if I got you, if I got you, cause life is one so we live today. Visit. You mean those girls descended on you like a thief that was caught in the market? See, bro, I think Vincent actually deserved this pity. Really? That's all you're going to say? Of course. Alright then. I'll deal with them. I'll teach them a lesson. Listen, Vincent, my very good friend. I will advise you to leave those girls alone. Women can be very, very dangerous when it comes to heartbreak. And they are ready to go to any length to deal with that man that breaks their heart. So my advice to you is, Vincent, pray those girls don't come back for you. Tell him accordingly, instead of him to find a way to salvage this situation. His mother said he would deal with them. <laughs> Bro, listen, those girls seem mean. And they are ready to do anything to you. Anything? Of course, for what you have actually done to them. No, they can't do anything. I'll cut their legs off. I run this town, bro. I run this town. Uh, yeah. Oh, good evening. Uh, no, Paul, talk to your friend. <laughs> I have been talk talking. to him because when this matter gets to another level, <laughs> this is my house. I will not accept any visitor. Vincent blows this town until the cripple. We will no one's <laughs> Baby, from the deepest part of my heart, I'm sorry for everything I have done. I'm so ashamed of myself. Baby, I, I didn't mean to cheat on you. It didn't come from my heart. She kept throwing herself at me. And I tried so many times to avoid her, but her father kept sending her to my office. Then it happened. I didn't do it intentionally. Please. So because you enjoyed it, you continued afterwards. Baby, I, I wasn't enjoying it. But she threatened to blackmail me. She said she was going to tell her father I raped her. And I was going to lose my job. I had to do it. And you didn't tell me. Baby, it happened so fast. I didn't know how to tell you. I was scared to tell you. Besides, I, I didn't want to lose my job. And I was afraid of being blackmailed. You know, rape is a serious case. And if she had reported me that I raped her, I would, I would go in for it. Baby, please, I'm sorry. I promise never to do anything like that you know, again. I don't know how to process this right now. I think you should go. Baby, so what? Go home. Leave me alone. I need to process mean things. Go. Baby, I will go, but when should I call you? I don't know. Just go. Baby, 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 I swear on my life, eh? I swear on anything I hold dearly. I'll never do this again. Yeah. I'll keep myself to myself until we get married. I promise you that. Uh -huh. Baby. Go. Now, Vincent, go. Hey, 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 hey. Madam, please. Identify yourself. Who are you? What's your name? Where are you coming from? Excuse me. Who are you? Eh? Who gave you the right to stop me? Are you stupid? Okay. If you must know, I am Mandela. The inspector. I mean the inspector general of this compound. Nobody goes out from this compound and nobody comes in without my express permission. Oh, 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 oh. Are you not the get man that was suspended 
and you came back with your miserable self. Are you stupid? Who are you to stop my way? Are you mad? Mad? Eh? I don't. I don't like shouting. I don't like shouting. You don't like shouting? How? If you are done with all this, your rubbish and useless English, eh? you have to go back to wherever you are coming from. And for your information, I was not fired. I was just on a leave as a newly promoted inspector. Mm. Oh, <laughs> mm. Yes. You must be very stupid. Well. Maybe you don't know who you are talking but to. Come on, Me, Cassandra. Come on. 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 Was she the one that pushed me or evil spirit? This game was single bone. So you pushed me, Abby? I'm not even going anywhere. Oh, I'm not even going anywhere. If no one can, I'm not getting up from here. No one, you can't make no problem. Mandela, how come? My Oga is not around, and he did not inform me that you are coming. My friend, go and get me some cold juice. You have to learn some manners before you lose your job. Do you understand me? My God. You will not come to my office and intimidate me. You hear me? <laughs> and I am not going to give you a thing. Not after you shaded me the way you did. Now listen, young lady. I am your madam, and if you are not careful, by tomorrow you will lose your job. This is my man's house and I do not need any permission to be here. Do you understand me? Go and get me what I asked you to get before I call your ogre. Listen, madam, you cannot come here and tell me what to do. The highest my ogre will do is sack me. But for me, I will not give you a thing. Not after you shaded me the way you did. Are you kidding me? Do you know who you are talking to? Eh? Me, Cassandra! How dare you talk to me like that? Are you stupid? Okay. You think I'm joking, right? You think I'm kidding, all right. I think I have to call your boss. I will call your, your ogre. Hey, hey, come on. Would you Sorry. leave me alone? Oh, please now. Eh? See, whatever happened to women, this small thing that you want to call my ogre, whatever happened to women, supporting women, eh? Breaking the barriers. See, you just want to make your follow woman lose her job just like that. That is not our goal now, please. What are you blabbing? Yeah. No, tell me, what are you talking about? Listen, listen, I was only joking now. I know that you're my madam. In fact, you and Moga fit each other. People are a perfect couple. See, from today, I am at your service. Anything you want me to do, I will do it. So, so please, eh, just sit down. If you wanted fresh juice, Abby, I will give you pepper soup, assorted meat, eh, and I'll bring it to you. My friend, will you juice, my friend? Talking too much. Have you seen your new mother? This one is on fire. Honestly, this is a perfect match. This one fit Oga well, well, I swear. Exactly my thoughts. This one is a match made in hell. Perfect match for each other. They I just, fit each other. I just take style the pity Oga. Because one day this woman feel beat him. Hmm. Funny enough, she looks very innocent. Like somebody that small breeze can just push away. But I tell you what, small push from her like this, I almost hit my head against the wall. Wait till she pushed you too. Mm -hmm. That girl must have single bone, no? but she does not look like someone that is strong. Okay, if I not check her boost. My dear, you see me? I will make her my best friend. I would never ever look for her trouble. Anything she asks me to do in this whole wide world, that is what I'm going to do. Honestly, eh? There's fire on the mountain. Oh God, don't finally bring woman we go kill her for this house. Yes, so. One door going to a pier, There's fire on the mountain and nobody's running. For me. It is good to be just to bad nonsense. Yeah. Yes, so. Come now, come. Yes, Let's go inside now. I have gist for you. You always be busy doing nothing. Come inside, let me gist you. Go, go.
What is this I'm hearing, Joma? That you've given Vincent a second chance? What is wrong with you, Joma? After all that dog did to you? Where did he get that? Paul told me. He even told me how Vincent had been bragging that you cannot do without him. That all he needs to do is to just go down on his knees and make you feel he loves you and you just forgive him. Since when did you start talking with Paul? Paul had been my friend for long now. And Paul is a better man than Vincent. But the problem here is not Paul. The problem is why should you give a second chance to that dog? Okay, listen. This is my life. How I decide to live it is my goddamn business. And I think, I think you should stop gossiping with Paul and get yourself a man. You heard me. Because then we'll see how relationship will work out for you. How about that? Are you saying this to me, Choma? It's okay. I'm done talking about this. I'm not going to talk about it no more. I won't. You, you're grown up. You have your own life to live. You know what's good for you. I'm done. Nancy, come. Sit down. I can tell you something. Sit. Why did you call me to come? Are you aware that your friend Choma has gone back to Vincent. What? <laughs> that can't be possible. Well, unfortunately, it is true. Because a young man is bragging about it everywhere. What, what exactly do you women want? Paul. Oh. Why are you so concerned about Shyama? Tell me, are you in love with her? What sort of question is that? Look at me. Were you in love with Shyama while we were dating? Well, I met Chioma before I met you. And yes, I got to develop such feelings for her. But uh, Vincent beat me to it while I was still trying to gather morale to talk to her. Vincent, how about you? Are you in love with Chioma? Why? Why are you stressing on this point? Listen, I called you here to tell you that this is what is happening so you could talk to your friend. I just care about your man. I'm trying to watch her back as someone that I have loved before. Nothing more. Are you? See, all I have to tell you both is that Joma hasn't gone back to Vincent. Hmm. My sister, you're only saying this because Choma is your roommate. I heard from the horse's mouth that she has reconciled with that mad dog, that cost that bucket. Eh? So I have to wait for her until she comes back. See, we all heard the same thing. 
Mm. I asked Chioma myself and she clarified everything. Okay. Chioma right now is out for revenge. And she will she's not relenting no until she achieves it. Mm. Yes. Anyway, I'll be inside. Okay. Mm. Why are you behaving like you, you believe her? See, I am not believing anybody until I hear from Choma's mouth. Yes. Amarachi, are we here for this? No, 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 answer me. Is this the reason we are here? I mean, shouldn't we be discussing a way forward for the joint venture? How can we discuss the joint business? No, tell me, how can? When Choma has, has become a cog in the wheel of progress. No, 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 mm -mm. Amarachi, no. Mm -mm. I don't like it when you take Choma to be a low-class lady who will go back on her vomit. I won't take that. So what are you trying to tell me? That you believe that she did not go back to Vincent? Of course, my dear. She did not go back to Vincent. Mm. The Choma I know cannot do that. You know what? I can even vouch for her with everything in me. She understands what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So please, if you do not mind, can we start the discussion now? We are not the not, business discussion. Mm -mm. We are not discussing any business discussion until Choma comes up from wherever she, the hell she went to. She needs to explain to me. I need to hear from her. So we have to wait until she comes back. Period. Oh, really? Yes. Let the waiting begin. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's live in peace and harmony. Let's stop behaving as if we're enemies. You are my wife, the mother of my child. Please. Rosita, mm -hmm. what changed? Why are you suddenly treating me like a wife? Why are you being nice to me all of a sudden? Why do you want peace? You are my wife. I shouldn't have treated you the way I did. Please. I am sorry. Please. Are you saying that all this time that you had no reason treating me the way you did? That all the beating, starving, abuse, all the things you made me go through that I never deserved any of them. I am so sorry, my wife. You never deserved to be treated that way. You did nothing to me that would make me treat you the way I did. Please. I am sorry. Forgive me, please. Oh, Sita. This mm. is all I wanted to know. I've always wondered if I deserved the way you treated me. At times I, I tell myself that it's my fault and I deserved everything. Thank you for making me realize that I had no problem. That it was never my fault. No. No. Mommy, mommy, please. Why though? Hmm. My thing was just swimming inside like this. Vincent. Let me tell you something. 
You see this your right leg? <laughs> Mom! <laughs> to disappear. You don't mean it. I... See, I even took a picture. See. <laughs> Vincent! Today I stand. Hmm. Listen. Shh. Well, I was going to tell you this. In fact, let me just say the truth. Alright? She's good. She's very good. At least. She's very good with her waist. And she likes to use her tongue too. Yeah. In fact, she's a goddess in bed. Perfect. perfect. Ha! Perfect is an understatement. Listen, uh, Vincent. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as she gives you the maximum satisfaction you need. Ha! Back to back. The girl is a porn star, eh? Ha! Ah! <laughs> um, Vincent. Mm? <laughs> what about that, your. What's her name again? Um, that's your girl, Annabelle. That one, I'm plotting my graph. When I get my money back, BOOM! I knock her off. Once you get your money back, you knock her off. Mm -hmm. Um, Vincent, mm -hmm. that girl doesn't look like somebody who's gonna give you that money back. And uh, that girl does not look like someone who is to be toyed with, I swear. I will advise you to avoid her so as to avoid this her trouble, I see, I sense her trouble. She sent every time ham, ham, ham. Listen, avoid that girl. I'm telling you, okay. I'm only giving you advice as my friend. What, what, what can I offer you? What do you want? What do you want? You want my usual round. All right, give me a second. I'm coming. She sent. You are women. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> It's relieving to know that it was not my fault. To think that I've been here wishing for him to respect me. Wishing for him to treat me the way he does right now. But you now have what you wished for. And so you should be happy about it. It's too late, Ijema. I no longer love Osita. And I can't even stand him, no matter how nice he treats me. Lady, you're really weird. You now have what you wished for, and all of a sudden you don't want it anymore. Girl, I don't understand you. You won't understand. It's too late, and things can't be the way it was. The hate has taken over, and there is no space for love again. If you love me, love me, love me for real Don't blow my heart, I can take it For someone I do you something strong, so strong, so strong I, I, I Please don't take me for a fool, for a fool Cause if I got you, if I got you I can't pay more than 6.5 million naira. I told you I have 6.2 million, that is what I said Alright, this is a business I am just trying to establish I don't even know how it's going to look like here. Yes, now. Are you just billing me? What is it? No, 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 no. I, I don't like that. I don't. Oh, please. I, I don't see. I don't. You know what? You know what? Stop it. You know what? I'll, I'll get back to you, please. Uh, is everything okay? It was a business call. Are you? Is everything okay? Can you imagine? My father warned me not to establish a business here in this country. Okay. Yeah, he said he was going to stress me. And now it is choking me. I am just, I'm sick and tired. Ah! Oh, God. It's okay, it's okay. Calm down, okay? Just, just take it easy. Take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. You see, this, these people are just stressing me. It's just stressing my ass. It's okay. From the contractors to, 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 to the least person. It's okay. I am sick wait, of... Wait, wait, listen, it's okay. I, I'm here for you. Because you are not alone. I am here to oh, stay. Please. Now you want to choke me? Please.
baby. What are you doing here? Baby, I missed you so much. You promised to call me, but you never did. And I've been calling you. You're not taking my calls. It's not today. I don't have the energy to do this with you today. I think you should leave. Oh, baby, but when are you going to have the energy? Because I, I love you. I still love you. I love you with all my heart. And I'm here to apologize for everything I've done. Please, please for, forgive me. Baby, please. Baby, I don't have the strength for this, I told you. Please leave. Baby, wait. Baby, wait. It's me, Vincent, the love of your life. The man who promised to get married to you. The mother of my unborn children. Baby, I'm scared to come close to you, but please. Get your hands up, me. I want you to leave. Baby, please. I... Please go. Baby, remember all the good times we shared together. Remember how I used to spend money on you, baby, please. Baby. Baby, will you call me? with your bags. I'm doing what I would have done a long time ago. My people will return the bright price you paid on my head as soon as possible. <laughs> Wait. What about my child? My daughter? She's still with my mother. You can visit her anytime you want. She's still your daughter. No one is taking her away from you. Uh, uh, wait, I did not ask you to leave. Oh. Eh? Hope you know that. Oh, Sita, you did not ask me to leave out of fear of what my brothers will do to you. But I know you want me gone here a long time ago. There is no need staying here. Hoping that one day you might look at me differently or you might love me. And moreover, I no longer love you. So, there is no need. Staying here. Have a good life. Yeah, n n wait, wait now. Yeah. What about your brothers? Yeah? I hope they will take this thing lightly. I don't want trouble from them. Well, Sita, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, uh, wait. wait. You look sad, you look unhappy, you look stressed, you look exhausted. What's wrong? Running a business in this country is quite frustrating. Oh, yeah. I am so tired. What happened, babe? The raw materials I ordered and paid for. Right. I asked them to bring everything once I am done with my warehouse. Right. And now it's been completed. Now they keep telling me a lot of stories. Oh, Can you imagine? these guys with fake stories. Babe, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, you don't have to bother too much. You still have a lot of time. I do not have any time. Oh. I will be going back to the States next month. Oh, oh. Yes, and I need to complete everything that has to do with my company. Right, right, right. But, babe, I have a question. What is it? Who would run your company in your absence? Who would run your company when you leave? I'll probably get someone I can trust. I won't be spending lots of time. Oh. Speaking about someone you can trust, I can run the company on your behalf. 
What about your job? Ah, uh, my job. I can quit. Or possibly run both of them simultaneously. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I am going to call my daddy that my boyfriend is going to be running my company when I am away. That's beautiful. Wait, wait. Can I talk to your daddy? Oh, <laughs> don't worry. We're just getting started. Soon you yeah. are going to talk to my daddy. Right, right, right. Oh. I can do anything for you, baby. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Come, 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 sit down. Sit down and enjoy with me. Hmm? Don't tell me you were the one that drank all of this. What do you want to drink? Just say it and I will get it for you. Masita, don't tell me you drank all of this. <laughs> so what are you celebrating? Freedom. Oh yes, freedom. <laughs> when you say freedom, what do you mean? Like, who is your wife? She has gone. Gone and she will never return to this house again. <laughs> you are joking, right? People will tell me where your wife is, I beg, or call her for me. My wife has gone back to her father's house and she will never return to this house again. Is our God not a wonderful God? Eh? <laughs> are you serious? Wait. You mean you're happy that your wife left you? You see that you hate her that much. Don't judge me until you wear my shoes. Hmm? I never intended to marry her. My bad. I told her that I love her so much and I can't wait to have her to myself. That was when I was doing everything possible to enjoy our womanhood. I just wanted to enjoy myself and everyone would go their separate ways. But she took him. Wait. Must you marry her because she took him? You would have told her you can't marry her. I tried. I tried telling her but she wouldn't listen. She made me to marry her and ever since then, my life has been miserable. Okay. Yes. I was about going out. I want to go and supervise what is going on in my warehouse and my site. So I want my boyfriend to come along with me so you can see things for yourself. Uh babe, I'm a little tired. Can't you do that tomorrow? No, I need to go there now, please. So they can get used to seeing my man and also respecting him. Uh, are we spending time? No, we are not. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, after you, babe. Okay. Okay. Let's go. We have concluded the price. And then I sent you half the amount of the money. So why are you asking me for the 5.5 million euro? I thought we, we agreed that I will balance you up once the materials are ready. What is it? Yeah, okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll give you the balance. 
See, you are making me regret doing business with you. What is wrong with you? Why are you talking to me like that? Oh, because of 5.5 .5 million, right? You do not want to give me my goods. No, no. All right, fine. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll give you the money. No more stories, please. Hey, babe, who's getting you upset? These people are just frustrating me. Oh. Can you imagine we had an agreement? Things changed. And now they, 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 the whole plans changed. They're just telling me. What really happened? All right, wait. Let me transfer the money to them before it's too late. Oh my goodness. Why now? It's not going. What's what's happening? What's wrong? I think something is wrong with my app. I have exceeded my transactions for the day in my two banks. Oh my god. God, not again. I didn't plan for this transaction. Okay, babe, listen, I think you need to take it easy so we can come up with something to do. Uh, please. Where are you I, going? I am going to the bank. I need to verify what's happening and make the transfer as soon as possible. Which bank? Sit, sit down. Sit down. Oh, no. Sit, sit down. <sighs> what time is it? This is past 5 o'clock in the evening. Banks are closed. Damn. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what do I do? If I don't send this money to these people, I will be in big soup. I need to... Oh. I need to call my dad. I need oh. to call my dad. What is going on? My dad's number is not reachable. Oh my God. Babe, what kind of temptation is this? You need to calm down, alright? Just listen, calm down and find ways to sort your problems... Look, if I don't send this money, I will be in a big mess. Seriously. It will cost me a lot. Um, um, I think I need to get money from my ex. Yes. Oh, but the problem is, uh, I do not want to have anything to do with my ex again. Wait, wait, <sighs> listen, I, I need to get something straight. Why would you ask your ex for money? Or why would you get money from your ex when I'm sitting right next to you? Because I don't know if you have such an amount of money. How much is it? Five point... Five million naira. Um, okay. Just uh, send me your details and I'll do the transfer. Really? Yeah, ASAP. Oh my god. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, I'll send my account. Details. Are you okay now? Yes. Are you calm now? Yeah. Alright, good. good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hmm. Oh, Kudili, why are you sounding like this now? I keep to my words. Listen, I, I promise to pay you back tomorrow. Listen, I have money now. I just have money stocks on... Okay, just give me three million. Oko delay three M. I'll give you. I'll pay you back, man. Please. Yes, tomorrow. I promise. Okay. Thank you. Dilly, what is it? Why did you barge into my house looking like this? Where is my money? And why are you not picking up my calls? Listen, Okudili, you need to calm down. Okay? You need to calm down. I have your money. I'll give it to you. Yes. You have my money. I have your money. You have my money and you're not picking up my calls. Why are young you not man, listen, picking up my calls? Listen, young man, why? Young man, young man, I was busy. I was busy upstairs. Okay? But don't worry, I promised I'll give you the money. I keep to my words. I'm a straightforward man. I'll give you your money. You give me my money? Yes. I promised to give you your money. And I will keep to my promise because I'm a straightforward man.
present. I just forwarded you my account number again. Send me my money. And I told you I want to use this money today. Okutili, I don't I I I listen, are you are you screaming at me? Are you screaming at me, Vincent, because I took money from you? Listen, I promise I'll pay back your money. Watch me do that. You know what? I'm expecting some money today. Once the money hits my account, I'll transfer the money to you. Tell me you're joking. No, tell me you're joking. Listen, Vincent. Send me my money today if you don't need my war. Send me my money! Hey, what could be the problem? I hope nothing has happened to her. God, please, let nothing happen to this girl. At least until she sends back the money. This money is not mine. Ha! Huh? God, please, let nothing happen to her. In fact, let, let her send back my money before anything happens to her. So wait a minute. Why are you investing hugely in the company? when you're relocating to the States. I mean, it don't make no sense. Yeah, exactly. I'm not relocating as in relocating finally. Mm -mm. I'll be coming back. That's why I need a business in this country. I mean, something that will always bring me back. Mm -hmm. Too much money is your problem. <gasps> but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, I think, I think that we need a manager, a male figure, to oversee things and spearhead activities. You actually read my mind, you know. I yeah. was thinking about that. Yeah. We do need a manager. So do you guys have someone in mind? I don't, do you? No, I don't. I have someone. You do? Uh -huh. Who? Paul, my ex. No shit. Why Paul? Yeah, he's, he's a very sincere person. He's loyal, he's hardworking, and the truth is, he knows his onions. Huh. Amara. Do you are you sure that? you are not looking for a way to go back to your ex? You can say I that mean, too, girl. Girl, go on. Nah, uh -uh, uh -uh. listen, I, yes, I love him, but we've gone past that. I mean, he's in love with someone else. Really? to tell you, are you daft or something? Is something wrong with your head? Baby, I keep I'm done you. with you. Nothing you will say or do will make me become your girl again. Baby, I keep seeing you in my dreams. I can't help it anymore. Go. Baby, please. You don't, you don't want to go? Baby, please. Please, I, I, I came to apologize. You know what, just come. I should come. Come inside. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Go. What is he doing here? Now what is this he goat doing here? He has been pestering me non-stop, begging that I let him become my lover again. Oh. What? Ceaselessly I have told him that I'm done with you, boo. And since he wouldn't bulge, I figured I'd let him in here so you girls can help me talk some sense into him. I'm all up for that. I see. Listen, Vincent. If you do not leave here this minute, I will not only make sure you lose your job, but I will make you useless and homeless. Period. Are you still here? I bet he doesn't know who owns the house he lives in, really. The only thing you know about me is that I am your boss's daughter. Trust me, you do not know me too well. If you do not get yourself out of this place this minute, 
I will make sure that you regret coming into this world with a dick. Yes, mama. And as for the house that you live in, it is owned by my boyfriend's father. And he takes care of the building. Boyfriend? But, but I'm your boyfriend. Oh, oh, shush. oh sorry, sorry. Shush it. Oh, you thought she's your girlfriend? Come on, little brain. Don't look at me like that. Now, let me tell you something. Please help me with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, you are just a pawn in a game. You are nothing. You worth nothing. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Annabelle, please, can I get back the money I gave you? Sir, excuse you? I gave you some money. Can I get the money back? My friend, get out. You said what? Guy, but get out! 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 This whole thing is beginning to look very scary. How can she just disappear without any trace? What other story will I tell Okudele about his money? Where was I? Um, Madam Cassandra gave me this letter two days ago. She said I should wait till today before I give it to you, sir. Um, say that again. I said Madam Cassandra gave me this letter two days ago. She said I should wait till today before I give it to you. Wait. You were asked to give me something. And you had to wait two days before you hand it over. But, Oga, you always want me to follow instruction. So I'm following her instruction. Wait till two days before you give it to him. Ah. Yes, sir. My instruction can be followed. Ah, well done. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid get out of this. Place. Thank you, sir. Sure, sir. <laughs> Vicent, I must confess that it was fun while it lasted. Watching you make a fool of yourself with the thought that you were fooling me. Watching you lie through your teeth without blinking. I must say you are really smart. But unfortunate that you met someone that knows your every move even before you make them. Don't bother going back to the site and warehouse that I showed you. They all belong to one of the men that I was warming his bed. He usually takes me along with him whenever he was going to supervise the site. So it was easy for me to bribe the workers into making you believe that I own the place. I believed in love before, but someone like you broke me. He stole all my money and I had to return back to the village. So this is a payback time to all the loose men in this country. I am coming for you all. Ha! Ha! Vincent! Where 
raise my money. Raise my money! Hey, listen, if he doesn't provide my money, hey, we roll! Oh, go to please. Calm down. This is not the right place. Neither is it the right time for this. Please calm down. Listen, Paul, stop telling me to calm down. Oh, yes, stop telling me to calm down. Can you imagine I borrowed this fool? This idiot! Money! And he, he, he borrowed money from me to give to a woman. He also borrowed money from other people. After everything I told this idiot, after all I told him. Now, I heard from a reliable source that the people he gave this money are building houses in joint areas. Is that the Can you imagine? only thing you heard? Is that the only thing you heard? Of course, the girls are balling. The PPP Express, the newly established career company that you have been hearing about, is owned by Choma, Annabelle, and of course, my ex. So these ladies were just eating from us while building their empires. That is it. There is nothing we can do about it. So calm down, Paul. That is not all. I also heard that Chioma is now rolling with a big boy, a biggest fish in town. Now, Annabelle has moved to the US to meet her old time lover. Now, the, 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 the only painful part of this is that the money I gave this idiot was meant for my husband. Enough! Ah! Enough! Okutili, enough of the insult. Do you think you're the only person who has rent to pay? Do you think you are the only person who has rent to pay? As I speak with you, my landlord is on my neck! How's that my business? So if you don't have anything reasonable to say, get the hell out! I am not leaving! If you don't provide my money, oh God knows if you don't give me my money right now, hey. something else would happen. Ah! I know! Tell him to give me my money! I need it! Oh, could you leave? I need my you money! You will do nothing! Oh, you think so? You will do absolutely nothing! Good. Yeah. I blame you for everything. You are the cause of all my problems. How? Yes! How? Okutili, I was a decent man before I met you. Yes! I was very, very responsible before I met you! Okutili, I was a virgin before I met you. I knew nothing about threesomes before I met you! I didn't know what a vagina looked like before I met you! Yes! Yes! Okutili, I cursed the day I met you. Yes. And let me tell you something. You can't force me to give you money. Because I don't have it. So wait until I get money before you open your dirty mouth. Vincent. Yes. Come. Listen to me. It's you are responsible for my problems because you came from a damaged home. What? Yes. I hear you you say. came from a damaged home. Are you talking to me? I'm please? talking to you. Are you mad? Hey. 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 Let me punch me. I got to enjoy my life. Oh, Sunday, boss, in my son. Oh, yeah. Anytime you see me, I'm not alone. Oh, yeah. Me and my G's, we got to flex. Oh. Cause life is one, so we live today and tell a story tomorrow. Kiss and tell. Kiss and tell. Kiss and tell. Oh, 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 oh. If you love me, love me, love me for real Don't play with my heart, I can take it For some I do you something strong So strong, so strong I, I, I Please don't take me for a fool, for a fool Cause if I got you, if I got you Cause life is one so We live today and tell a story tomorrow